the it's back. Is this that, isn't it. Did you do that to me? This come is here. wrong day. Yeah, what day yeah, is it then, chat? If you were rubbing your back. Wait, come here. Uh, oh, this. Yes, I'll, sh I'll just demonstrate. No, you. not me. No, look, on, there, look. Yes. Did anybody find in the time to sit here for seven minutes? Ah. <sighs> Go like this. It was yeah. in your head, but you needed to burp. Ah! There he is. Give no way. Online. I don't know why these fathers feel a need to parent online. I really don't get it. One little bit, you know what I mean? The mother of the child isn't even putting the kids on screen, you know what I mean? You've got DG Deco, you know. <laughs> this was more aimed at DG Deco. I don't know why Tyrone's sticking his nose in because this was about DC Deco. Because recently, if you've noticed, like, whenever he only is a part time dad, whereas Tyrone's a full time dad. This was about DC Dector and how um, he keeps putting the little baby on the screen all the time, having breakfast, calling people dosses on the screen and stuff like that. You know, just using the baby to gain gifts. I never said that that's what Tyrone was doing. I'm actually talking about um, DC Dector more so in this clip. And I do stress that a few sentences along. Shut the fuck up. How about no? Shut the fuck up. How about no? You've got no authority around these ways to tell anybody to do anything. Does it look like I've shut the F up? No. I'm still here talking. <laughs> Mother of the child isn't even putting the kids on screen, you know what I mean? You've got DG Deco, you know, feeding women with showing his little it's baby really on screen does. and all that. They can't even have five minutes with the kids off live. It's funny. So this wasn't even about him, so I don't know why he's reacting. Oh, it's not even about you. I am a streamer. No one, was show... no one was talking about you. I was talking about DC Dector. You can hear blatantly that that's what I said. So taking offense on behalf of another person is very crazy in my eyes. Look at beautiful Havana right now sleeping. Beautiful. I'm saying that me? Wrong. When you have. I... Has anyone heard me say anything wrong about the child? I've not said anything. Listen, EQ, when you have your you, raise your you how you want to raise your you. No, nobody's talking about you. I was talking about DC Dector. What are you talking about? I'm a, I'm a streamer. No one's backtracking. I can backtrack the clip, though, to me talking about DC Dector. I didn't even say nothing about Tyrone in this instance of the video. I'm a streamer, mate, okay? Never mentioned you in you this. You know what I'm saying? When you have your you, raise your you how you want, okay? Do what you want. The one thing I notice about Tyrone, he is a lot more educated than these other streamers. You know, when they go, you can't even have kids. Well, yes, I can, because there is such thing as surrogacy, you know, and whatever partner I'm with can use their active sperm for a donor egg. And many people across the land who are heterosexual couples who are fertility challenged and stuff. So I've noticed Tyrone is not willing to overstep that line and not like, you know what I mean, chat a load of shit, which is always great to hear. Let me do what- Now the people saying in the comment section of the videos that she can't have kids, well yes I can actually, you know what I mean? Are you telling me that people who adopt children or have surrogates, they're not the mothers and fathers of that child, you know what I mean? That would be preposterous to say and a detrimental thing to say, which is, uh, yeah, he's, he's on it. What I want to do. Social no, suicide. Because if he tells <clears throat> one transgender person that they can't have kids, not that he has, I'm, I'm actually having us back on this. Thank you, Pippa. Thank you so much, my Pippa. Make sure to comment in my opinion. So, yeah. So, it's hugely inaccurate to say trans people can't have children because, yes, they can. Getting Is that it then, chat? If there was a woman, say, for in a genetic woman with my Jack, for instance, and she couldn't have a baby and she got a donor egg or whatever, you know, and then a surrogate, like, nobody would say to that mother, you're not a mother, huh? You didn't give birth to that child, for instance, you know what I mean? So to say it to a trans person, you know, would be equally as crazy. Is that it? But he never said that, I'm just saying. To you. I gave him to the boss, think of the five months. Go to the day before this one. But well, we was just on it. The fourth, yeah? What time is it on the fourth? Thank you, Caris. Caris, so. Thank you, babes. Fourth, right at the end. Oh, you've got too much time on your hands, Tyrone, searching all these clips. Oh, you're right. Situation of... I hold on.
Bizzo donated one pound. Thank you. There he is with his famous one pound. Yeah. Jealous cause he can't have one himself lost. But you're jealous because you can't afford a £7,000 custom build PC, much like how I'm streaming on right now. Thank you so much, Racing Girl. Choo -choo. <laughs> bag, bag, bag. So you're jealous of the fact that I can afford shit and you have to go begging it up on people's streams. Donated £1. Stick your one palm where the sun doesn't shine. Oh. I didn't say that. Surprised you can afford it, to be honest. Thank you. I didn't say that. Thank oh. you, Does this remind you this this situation of anything? It, it reminds oh. me of this. I was just saying the situation looks similar, like the father holding the child in front of the microphone and stuff. I had no thought in my mind about scrapists and things like that. You know what I mean? It just reminded me of another creator on the app a few months ago. You know, who used to like sing with his baby and stuff. <laughs> if you listen, I don't even mention anything to do with Grey, poor children. I don't mention his child, Tyrone's child. But I've seen a lot of clips saying talking about his children. I haven't. Show me one clip where I've talked about Tyrone's child. Not once. So hold on, chat. Let me just get the context real quick. I challenge Tyrone or anybody else to find a clip where I've spoken negatively or on his child because I haven't done that. So this, this Donny and that, that was what seems to be the basis of people's argument, you know what I mean, is apparently I've talked on someone's child. No, I haven't. We're watching the clip all together now. Let's see if I talk on Tyrone's child. It could. Because that's apparently is that, what the Is that what is. it was? Yeah. All right. Now listen, EQ. Wow. Okay. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing, yeah? Can't see what I said. Don't worry. That's wrong. Push that energy out. Push that energy out. What energy? I don't really understand the, the logic behind what you're saying. Push what energy out? I was doing my FYP news show. I seen this video and I said, oh, this reminds me. So what? Be careful when that karma comes back around, though. Oh, this whole karma business. I get nothing but good karma, love, you know what I mean? Not with... People have said this to me for 20 years. Oh, you're going to get your karma. I'm still waiting. 37 years of age. Never had any karma. Never been approached in the streets. Never been, you know, ha attacked, hit or anything. I've had a case of vandalism by, by a, a waif and stray, you know what I mean? But that's about it. And I'm sure we've all, over the years, suffered maybe... A scratch to our car from a key. Not me personally, but I'm just talking about the audience watching. You know what I mean? An egg thrown at the door or something, you know what I mean? So that's the only thing I've ever had happen, you know, in, in 16 years on social media. And I'm still sitting here doing the same thing as what Tyrone's doing, you know what I mean? Responding to videos. So, yeah, we're on the same level, aren't we? Absolutely. Be careful when that karma... And I've even got a song. So Tyrone... He's not the only one with songs, you know what I mean? Listen to my song. Evil Queen. Evil Queen. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the TikTok, TikTok Queen. Queen. Evil. Evil. Cruella to view. Evil. Evil. Mental like Harley Quinn. Evil. Huh? We've all got songs after ourselves. So we're on exactly the same level, me and the Tyrone one. What comes back around? All I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. Ooh, I'm so scared of karma coming back around. You get me? Not. <laughs> That's a mad thing to do, chat. You know what I'm saying? Which? Chat say, does it point. remind you of anything? Now imagine if I... Hold on, hold on. Now imagine if I pulled up... Something. We know what you mean, the whole trans thing, but I'd love you to do it because you wouldn't be affecting me because I'm not interested. Do you know when somebody says to you, Tyrone, oh, you're a woman, would it bother you? Would it bother you, Tyrone, if someone called you a woman? So if someone calls me a man, it's not going to bother me, you know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? It's just like hearing the words, hello. So yes, you could, but then you would be committing social suicide because it would reflect on every single trans person um, who would watch you, you know, black trans creators as well, you know what I mean, like that you might come across. So you'd be offending a lot of people. But the fact that it's even on your mind and go, oh, imagine I did this, but I didn't say nothing about you. I haven't called you a rapist. I haven't insulted your child. Show me anywhere where I've said anything. Not said anything. Yeah. It's like someone coming on with bleached blonde hair and I showed Mr. TikTok afterwards and I said, oh, look, does this remind you of anyone? You know what I mean? It was a simple comparison to a father, you know, singing or doing whatever he's doing online. The array. I still need to see where I've said something wrong. Now. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine the uproar, the rage, if I if I decided to draw her out? No, I wouldn't care, though. I, I think you're mistaken me. And I never actually care about transphobia against myself. I just call hypocrisy on people who try to have issue with other things. Thank you so much, Mermaid. Like racism, for instance, you know, if the creators are having the same outrage for transphobia about racism, then I'll listen, for instance, you know what I mean? So that's where I'm coming from the situation. I personally don't care. You can call me all the names under the sun. It doesn't affect me, me income. It doesn't affect me viewership. You know, I have these same viewers every night, no matter what. So, because mm -hmm. we know what she's doing there. Thank you. You know Elijah. what I mean? We know what we we know what she's doing there. What? Tell us, enlighten us. Imagine if I did it. Come on, undo it. And I think that's obviously what she wants. She wants the attention. But my viewers haven't changed, so I don't get where this whole other creator saying she wants attention. But I get the same viewers no matter what, you know, it's always on the 2k mark every day. And a lot of them uh, gift us. Go and check on Tip Tick Leap on this username and on my other account. Thousands of pounds every week, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a joke. So, I don't need to cause outrage. I have the same viewers, whether I'm sitting here talking about Dimension Anne or anybody. So I don't need your stupid views. I don't need your, you, you, anything from you, any cloud, nothing like that. So I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Susan. I've reacted to it now. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. We'll have all the clips on the FYP. All right, just what I said, karma exists. Karma exists. Bring it. I'm a big believer in karma. Bring your karma. I'm a big believer in karma. You're from Southampton, for God's sake, you know what I mean? Say nothing. You may think you're big in Southampton, but you know what I mean. Anywhere else in the world, you'd you'd be flattened like a pancake. And if anything, it, it reminds <laughs> oh. me of this. <laughs> and do you know what this means, chat? She planned to do that as well. Yeah, I did. I seen the clip of you, and then I searched for a, a clip, a similar clip. You know, of someone holding a baby. I've made no accusations, no insinuations. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so much. So until you can come with me with proof to show that I've had malicious intent or I've claimed you're a grapist or I've insulted your child, there's no evidence to support that at all. We've got more of the clip to watch and you listen for yourself, see if I make any reference to Tyrone's child, because that's what's getting said on the app. That's what's getting said on the app today is, she's talking on people's children? No. <laughs> I don't think so, love. Because you see how quick the clips change? This situation of anything. You see how quick the clip It reminds oh. me of this. Play the clip and stop waffling. Oh, well, Tyrone's procrastinated for a whole seven minutes on a 30 second clip, love. So you'd have to be blocked, sorry. <laughs> she planned to do that. Watch. Don't I worry. Karma exists. Day, I'm getting walk. What karma do you think is going to come near me, Tyrone? Are you going to come on a white horse and, a, and a, with a knife? I don't think so. Thank you, Susan. So you'll do nothing. Stay in Southampton, love. You know, the best thing to come out of South Southampton is where you get on the cruise for your holiday, love. Flashbacks. Oh, I've been to Southampton. It's a wreck. Been changed. Oh, She's getting flashbacks. Round this two. If real. Yeah, I mean round two of having your baby on screen all the time, you know, in order to clickbait the, the women in the chat who are single mothers and stuff. Oh, look, I wish my baby daddy would be like Tyrone and stuff. So that's what I meant. So I don't know where he's getting this whole grapers compared me to a grapers. I mean financially benefiting from your child on the screen. She oh. said round two as well. Yeah, round two of more begging on the name of your child. Thank you, Susan. She said round two yeah. as well. Why else would you think to sit there like this and feeding the baby? You know, if you, if you wanted to feed your baby or something, then you can pause your stream. The same people will wait. You just want to be seen. That's all you want is to be seen. So it is very similar in the way of a uh, financial benefiting from from this, for instance. Um, yeah, I don't know where you're getting all your uh, phony baloney from, love, but what I say is what I mean. You get me? Don't worry, karma exists. <gasps> you shouldn't a bundle of joys with fellows. I'm pre pedophiles and predators and rapists and every other criminal mastermind in the country. So he's not only sharing his child to the nice people. Look at Gem Z, you know what she said? Absolutely disgusting. So you can't say, but he's only doing this, but look what's happening. You know what I mean? The man is is a mess thinking that I'm insulting his child or, you know, as his parent. I'm just saying they're gonna he's gonna financially benefit from sitting there winding his baby, this, that and the other, and he knows it. 
So I think his intentions are not pure. It's not to, oh, I've got a baby. It's just to gain more, in my opinion. And I'm allowed, in my opinion. Haven't insulted anyone's child. Haven't even said the child's name. Thank you, Lauren. So, poppycock. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Cripey. On the day you were born. He's making money already, I know, but he'll make even more, as I've just explained, from the women who wish that their men were a bit like Tyrone and, you know, they had a baby father. So they there's a majority of female gifters, as we know, on this app, and they're, they're the powerhouses behind sending the gifts on the app. It's not men. Men are not going to go in and start, you know what I mean, going, congratulations, there's the universe. It's going to be women who goes and does it, you know what I mean? So I do think he is like this man in a sense that he's going to parade his baby on to entice female gifters for instance mm. it's one of her more honestly yeah, i'm getting real. flashbacks said it multiple times honestly i'm getting flashbacks. Yeah, what I is am. this don's problem because i am getting flashbacks of financially benefiting from your children you know dc dector does it you do it loads of people have done it over the time Multiple times. Chat, I'm, I'm not going back and forward in the clip. That's her. On the day you were born. Crazy. And I moved on. Um. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it's reminded me of. No, that's what it's reminded me of. And then I moved of. on. So I literally said that. 20 seconds. Moved on with Michelle. I didn't mention his child. You've just heard the clip. Go and find a clip from me talking about this. Unedited. Without any pauses in. And you'll see that I haven't mentioned his child. I haven't called him a grapist. I said there were similarities in the way of displaying your child for female, like, audience members to supply you with gifts and stuff. So that's my opinion on the situation. I stand by it. No one's said you're a grapist. No one's even brought your child up. Has anybody seen any footage of me discussing Tyrone's child in any way? Like, his actual child? Or talking about him? And what his intentions are. This is the FYP show and he speculates on people. Maybe they're doing it for this. Maybe they're doing it for that. So I've speculated and, you know, we've had this response. Absolutely crazy. Where's the Mad Hatter stuff in the house? Jeez. See, I move straight on. Jeez, don't worry though, chat. Just I remember what I said. Yeah? And someone comes say, oh, was it a threat? No. I don't take anything that Tyrone said as any type of threat, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? He's a pussy from Southampton. It's just facts. Karma exists. Just remember I said that. Okay? Yeah, remember I said karma exists to you as well. You know, deceiving female audience members into giving you gifts. So, you know, karma will get you because of it. Karma really exists. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Yeah. But no, chat, fair play that you told me because I didn't see this. Lizzo donated one pound. Thank you. Nah, who's got his address message me can't be having this Jesus talk this much sheet on. Uh, Oh, shut up. Oh, get me the address. You'll do nothing. Like everybody else before has done nothing. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Carrie. Honest to God. I've heard that many threats over the years. Veiled threats, innuendos. I couldn't care less. I still walk out my door every single day in my life. Get in my car, go where I'm going. Do everything that I'd normally do. Plebs off the internet do not affect me. And you? In the real life. And I'm only responding to this now because it's the FYP show, love, and I've been mentioned. Although, as we all know and have listened, I never called him a grapist. I never said he was in tune with a grapist. I made similarities between holding the child for the cash gifts, and we all seen what the previous man gained off the back of that singing to the baby and stuff, you know what I mean? So that was my intention. So I've not mentioned his child's name. I've not talked about him in any disrespectful way. He's just obviously cloud chasing off my name. He's probably seen like G Crew and people who've argued with me before and have made 40 grand on the leaderboard because what tends to happen is if I have my opinion on anybody, then people go to support in a sense of financial. So I do think that he's playing on it because he's seen in the past what's happened, you know, when I've had an argument with a male on the app or stuff and then all of a sudden the number one in the leaderboard, for instance. So yeah, spend your money, loves. Get your cash out. Hey. I don't know where people live. But even if you did, you'd do nothing, Tyrone. Let's face facts, you would do nothing to nobody. <clears throat> okay, let me let me let me weigh up weigh up the things here. He's got a new child, he's got a girl. Do you think Tyrone's gonna step out of Sam Southampton for some tranny on the internet? 
who said that it has similarities to the way producing your child in order to gain, for instance. And that's all I've said. So you think this new father's going to put everything in jeopardy? Come down from Southampton, bray on my door, you know. Make it so that he can't have contact with his child and he's going through a court case and danger, this, that and the other. So I don't take any single type of this situation as any veiled threat. I wouldn't care if he did know where I lived. And I won't be living here for much longer anyway, love. So try getting me a dress then. Four people oh, yes. start saying I'm in sight and stuff. I ain't said nothing for that. I'm moving in the next week, loves. Three bedroom but... house. Yeah. So what are people going to say then? Oh, she lives in a bed. I don't tell you. I have a one bedroom apartment. Thank you, Miss Cyber. But I'm going to a three bedroom house, love. So what are they going to say then? Oh, in your bed, sit. No, love. Big three bedroom house. Big massive garden front and back. Plenty of room to move around. Big kitchen, lots of surfaces. Oh, yes, love. So, yeah, so you, you can't actually slag off where I live for very much longer, love. In the next few days, I would say that will come to an end. Oh, yes, love. Then you'll be jealous. Uh, dude, talking <laughs> on stuff like that, with so many people, got so much love for Havana. See, I've not said anything about your daughter. So you're saying talking on things like that when everyone's got so much love for your child. But I have not said anything about you. In that way, not saying anything about your child. You've sensationalised it to try and get some clout, but it won't work and it hasn't worked. What was your expecting, Tyro? Me to come on today and call you all the names under the sun and try and trigger you mentioning things? No. Ha uh ha. -huh. That failed, didn't it? I can't control what happens after that. Thank you so much, Wonder Woman. No one's doing anything for you, Tyrone. Thank you so much, Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? I can't control what happens after that. I can't control... Nothing's going to happen. Do you think these plebs are really going to step out of your sub-chat on Twitch and come and try and ag aggress me because they're a fan of yours? I'm stupid. As if he is. As if he is. Oh, it sounds so cool. <laughs> right, there is more as well, love. We got talked about loads. And as you, can, as you can see by that clip, I played the clip in its entirety. Said nothing. Said nothing offensive, not an insinuating anything. I just mentioned there were similarities with the whole producing the child for gifts. Tyrone speaks on why he will never react in a certain way to Evil Queen's comments. Now, this is another day now, a separate day. I wasn't even on yesterday. I was celebrating my boyfriend's birthday. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang! Thank you so much, Ev. I wasn't even on, you know what I mean? And he was still going on about it. But tell me what offensive things that I've actually said verbally. <clears throat> what have I articulated? Nothing. I've articulated absolutely nothing. I didn't make any accusations that he was any type of way, like a rapist. I never mentioned his daughter's name. I never mentioned his daughter. You know, I briefly touched on something for 20 seconds and moved straight on. So here's more, love. So this is a whole new day now that he's talking about me still. Now, obviously, what this comments guy is have I made? Too tolerant. I want to know what he expects me to do. What do you expect me to do? The because th the comment that he's replying to here is where somebody said, "Oh, face this now, now your child, and you'll do nothing." But nobody mentioned his child. You won't find a bit of footage where I've mentioned Tyrone's child in any negative light or even said a name, you know what I mean? Because nobody should be saying somebody else's child's name. So you won't hear me saying the child's name. I've not said a word, love. This has been sensationalised um, for clout, I, I do believe. And nobody on this app is immune from being a clout chaser because you wouldn't go live. You wouldn't have addressed it. He knows the attention that's going to come back off here, you know, the sympathy and this, that and the other. But in actual fact, what have I said? Nothing at all. Ting. I've said then... loads on this app, but for the one time I don't say anything, it's sensationalised. Thank you, Melanie Weeks. Thank you so much, babe. What? Not be able to provide for my family. You know what I'm saying? See my family anymore. Thank you so much, Caroline. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. Thank you, Caroline. Make sure to comment so we can pin you. Thank you very much, babe. We're friends as well. You've got to think about it like that. A bit out of the box. I understand in life you might get put in position. Somebody just said, if you're going to make money off your child, at least let her grow up a bit first. She's a newborn. That's one of my comments. I didn't say that. Where you may have to do something. Any position. You know what I'm saying? I understand some things are hard to walk away from. But 
more time i'll walk away from a situation what situation you've made it up in your mind i think baby brains got to you i think i really do believe that like men will get baby brain too so i think he's just sensationalized it i think he's just took something and blew it up into out of proportion you know what i mean i've not slated his child i've not slated anything to do with him you know i just said there were similarities between one creator to the next and how they used the child so i do think he is maybe a little bit more touchy than he usually would be you know maybe lack of sleep and stuff but this whole thing has been sensationalized into an absolute load of poppycock because there's nothing that i've said and i'll swallow and he pride. can't show you you know to see Me, the more days him, you know what I'm saying? anybody and you could say we'll be able to show you pussy None of them. pushover whatever i've done the whole growing up when i was a teenager not letting things slide Oh, stop acting like you're odd, Tyrone, love. <laughs> he's acting like he's solid. Honestly, all this carry on. Right. Tyrone exposes Evil Queen. My God, he doesn't give up. On the EQ subject, yeah? There we go again. And I know I say all the time, ah, oh, she's, her name's Evil Queen. You should expect her to say Evil Queen. Yeah, so how many times has Tyrone excused my abhorrent behaviour when I actually have done something? But it's Evil Queen. What do you expect? It's Evil Queen. Do you know what I mean? How many times has Tyrone excused my behaviour on his For You page and said, but she's Evil Queen. You've got to expect it. And that's been on the most abhorrent things. And in this instance, I've not actually said anything. I've not actually gone low and I've not said anything. I made a tongue in cheek, a tongue in cheek, um, side by side about making money off your children, you know, when they're not even, they're not saying they want to be on camera, you know, for instance. So I believe it's making money off the back of, you know, a happy event. It is a happy event, but then it is getting monetized. The birth of his child is being monetized. You know, everybody can see it. They just might not want to say it, for instance. But that's all I was referring to. Um, so I think it's mad that he's gone on like this for days. Sorry. Her name's Evil Queen. You should expect her to say evil stuff. True. But is she really evil? Nah. Is she really evil? Nah. Thank you, you know, so yeah? much, Caroline. Thank you, beautiful. We've Make sure to comment so we can pin you. We've seen it when it gets tough for you. You get upset. You've never actually seen it, though, because I'm an actress. I did performing arts in uh, college, and I've got a first diploma in performing arts. So I can switch tears on, I can switch them off. So whether whatever you think you've witnessed, Tyrone, you really haven't witnessed. You've witnessed me acting, being an actress. I did drama for one of my options in school because I loved performing arts. You know, I can turn the tears on like that. You know, I can adapt. I'm a chameleon on social media and I can adapt to, you know, emotional when I need to be this, when I need to be the other, when I need to be a victim, for instance, you know what I mean? Then I know how to do that and to victimize myself. I'm very calculated and very switched on. I'm very smart. I'm very streetwise. I'm not book smart. I'm not saying all that, but I am very, very switched on in the world. Not liking what So you've never, ever seen me actually upset, as you may believe you have. You've seen an act. Thank you so much, Shell Bell. Thank you, beautiful. People saying... Leave him alone. I'm responding to him, babe. I should have been left alone because I didn't say what he's tried to tell people I have. I've seen multiple videos. Evil Queen talking on Tyrone's baby. Where? <laughs> We've watched the clip. Where did I talk on Evil on, um, Tyrone's baby? I never referenced the child in any, any fashion or negative way. I never tried to draw him out, you know... I could do if I really wanted. You think I could have come on today and thought, right, he's took the bait here. You know, let's wind it up a bit more. But I'd rather just show how stupid he's being because he's excused my behaviour time and time again when it doesn't affect him. And now that it's affected him, he wants to make a song and dance. He wants everyone to be bothered. But what about the, my victims in the past? who have wanted him to be bothered and have wanted him to stand up and say, that's wrong, whether your name's Evil Queen or not. But has he done it? No. He's turned around and excused my behaviour. She's evil, Evil Queen. It's in the name. But now you want to be affected? Seen the tears be shed. You haven't? You've seen an act? With Thank a you, real Lauren. evil Hello, person Canadian shed Andrew, tears love you. on live? Nah. That's an emotional person. You get me? Some people want to fit a narrative and wear a cape 
You haven't got a very good poker face, Tyrone, because I know exactly what you're doing here because I can read people. You're trying to speak to me in a way like, we know you. We've seen you. Guess you haven't. You've seen now. You've never seen anything but me acting on this app. Love you too, Canadian Angie. So, eh, eh you failed again. Really? They can't handle it when it really gets tough. And this was because I didn't come on yesterday. He didn't know that it was Jack's birthday and that we were celebrating Jack's birthday. He thought that I must have stayed off. So we thought, right, I'll do a bit more. Day after, she's not been on. Thank you, Alison. Thank you, baby. Make sure to comment with you. So I think he thought, she hasn't been on. Let's do more. Let's gain more sympathy. Look at the way the reaction's going. But no one's actually done anything. You've made a mountain out of a molehill. Let's see you stand on business for this one. Yeah, I stand on business. I stand by what I said. The similarities are uncanny when it comes to um, extracting cash from the birth of your beautiful baby daughter. You know, she shouldn't be paraded on camera in front of paedophiles and rapists and stuff, you know. It's wrong in every way. Yes, you'll have some nice people who will sit there, but look at what Gem Zeno said about your baby. It's disgusting. Why would anyone want that? Why are you put? You sat there before you had the chance and said, I'll never have my daughter on social media while all this is going on and the way people are disgusting. So you, you're going against everything that you said to make a quick book, in my opinion. And I do FYP News. You give your opinion all the time on situations and say, well, this might be the reason. This could be this. This could be this. This could be this. That's all I've done. Thank you so much, Cameron. Stand on business. I'm standing on business. Stand by what I said. That like you normally do. I stand on Let's business. see how long you stand on business for. I'll keep standing on it because you'll do nothing. You and your worm firm or whoever you know or whatever you're thinking in your mind will never come to flourish in love. Oh. So I stand on business, absolutely. I st and it, I even ever said... It wasn't wrong. What have I said wrong? Name what I've said wrong. Did I call you a grapist? Did I say, oh, look, he's like Anthony Q. Lion, a grapist? No. I said none of that things. None at all. You've made it up as you've gone along to try and gain public support. Good night wrong to this person. That's why he streams me? big major things that are going on, like Ems's kitchen. If Ems has someone in the kitchen, he's a cloud chaser. He'll sit on live and get thousands of people watching said incident. Whenever there's something going on or somebody's demise, for instance, or something's going wrong, up the fire, he fires the live up, you know what I mean? So he's the ultimate cloud chaser. Good on you. Well done. But don't come for me. Thank you so much for doing nothing. Canadian Angie with the Interstellar, my darling. Thank you so much, beautiful. I love you lots, Canadian Angie. Make sure to all follow Canadian Angie as well. Let's see how we... So he's a master at this game. He knows exactly what to do, only for the fact he's coming up against me right now. And I've pointed out the fact that I've not actually said anything. Find the illicit thing that I've said. Find the nasty thing I've said about him. Or his child, or, or you find a, you've read into something that I said. You could have just asked and put a message out and said, "Can you just explain to me why you would reference me in the same breath as a grapist?" And I would have said it was nothing to do with the grape. It's to do with the fact that he gains support off singing to his child all the time and stuff. So that was me comparison. But you decided to go off on a tangent and be affected when you're not affected when I'm doing stuff to other people, are you? Where's the campaign and then Tyrone? you stand on business for this one i do show us that it's not an act show us that you're really really evil go on i stand on exactly the initial opinion that i said and i've come and explained it verbally today and i stand by what i said the the the, the likeness in the respect of gaining gifts off the birth of your child is uncanny nothing to do with being a grapist nothing to do with anything like that so I stand on exactly what I said. Is this more again? Right, I want to literally just mention. Now when I mean, right, I want to skip. <clears throat> because he even started playing the videos of support for himself. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. Thank you so much, Courtney. Let me get back to the reactions. Right, so story. we saw what Elsa said. See, she's done a video as well. You know what makes me laugh? Right. You know what makes me laugh about that moss evil queen in a shared accommodation? In a Do you know what? I tell you what, one thing, yeah, I learned so many different words from this Elsa. What does moss mean, chat? Are these like up north slang? I've never heard of the word moss. 
The funniest thing is my house is going to be bigger than Elsa Frost's in a matter of days. <laughs> Honestly, so that's just laughable. In you, I live in a one-bedroom flat. It's not a shared accommodation. Thank you so much, David. Thank you so much, beautiful. It's not a shared accommodation. It's just flats. Oh, my God, Angie with the pyramids. Take that, Tyrone. I'll have all the gifts. Thank you, David. Canadian Angie, I love you so much. Thank you for everything every day. And David with the baby dragon, thank you so much. Thank you, babes. So, yeah, so my message back to you, Elsa, is that I'm about to move in the next week to a three-bedroom house, which is bigger than your house. You've only got two bedrooms. I've got three. So, you know, sorry about you and your small little house. Like, in, as, as a... Um, Council house, is that? Oh, Mutt. She said Mutt. Thank you, Angie. You know what makes me laugh Make about sure that Mutt's evil queen? Oh, Mutt. Oh, yeah, no, I've heard of Mutt. Remember the, the crazy T and Dizzy Rascal beats? I'm not a mutt. I'm not a mutt. No I thought cares. she was saying yeah, moss. Was you know what makes me laugh about <laughs> that moss evil queen in a shared accommodation, in a shared building in Oxton Village with Jacqueline sitting there going on about how Tyrone is like the Lion King, man. Nothing like him. Nothing like him. You're just talking about him on your FYP to be irrelevant because he gets the views. To be irrelevant? Don't you mean relevant? Being irrelevant means like... Oh, it's insignificant. You're irrelevant. Nobody watches you, for instance. So that's the wrong turn of phrase there. It's relevant. And he's a live streamer and a lot of people like him. And he's also a family man and humble. And wants... I'm a live streamer and a lot of people like me, too. So there we go. To show his baby off to the world because it's his firstborn. Never said he could. Which... And that's true, man. I need you lot to see how amazing Havana is. You get me? Yeah, yeah, but how amazing she is. There could be a predator fapping off, you know what I mean? Touching his ding-dang doolies. Watching you. You know, you never know who's watching. So my advice to you is be very careful, you know, because look at the way you've reacted when I didn't even say nothing about your kids. Never said nothing about your kids. And look at the reaction. So what's going to happen when some evil, actual evil person, you know, comes around and says dirty things or disgusting things about your baby that you're parading on screen. What are you going to do when someone takes an image of your child, makes a profile and goes into everyone's lives? You have created this. You need to stop. You know, you make enough doing your own thing and all that. The child doesn't need to be paraded online. Don't know anyone who does that. I know people who keep the baby secret and, you know, will, will not show anybody. You know, nobody wants to have the baby's image taken and put on a pedo site or any of those things, which you're allowing to happen because look at the way you're reacting to me. And all I said was that there were similarities the way you're trying to make money off the baby's birth and stuff. You know, it's just unfortunate um, that that was a criminal, but, you know, maybe my bad on that. But the message is still the same. You make it look at the way you're reacting and how upset you are. I just need everyone to see how beautiful she is. Keep her to yourself. Keep it to yourself. You don't want these animals talking about the child or mentioning a name to trigger you because you've got a big red mark on your back now that anyone can take a shot at because you're putting your baby on live. So you've got a big massive bullseye on your chest because you've put the baby out. Thank you, Melanie. Choo -choo. Bang, bang, bang. I couldn't have a bit of privacy. You couldn't just feed the baby or win the baby. You had to do it on screen. And now that child's image is out there. Celebrities, all of those people keep their baby under wraps, you know, and you're literally putting yourself out there, you know, to be literally abused. And maybe next time someone will say something worse than me. Not that I even said anything about your child in the first place, because I wouldn't. But you will get somebody who will go to those extremes, who are predators, who, who will try to vex you. I wouldn't be surprised if Gem Z, you know, hasn't already got a picture and is going to make five accounts and start doing this, that and the other, you know. So you just need to be careful and you need to watch what you're doing. Ain't not it wrong. Because all I've said is that the similarities between you getting gifts off the back of your baby the same as the other man. And you've gone batshit. You've said I've done the worst things. Karma, this, that and the other. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, babe. Thank you again, Canadian Angie. I love you so much, babe. <clears throat> so this seems like a you problem and not a me problem. Wrong with that. Matter of fact, let me land sync as well. And I know some people's going to say, oh, it is different because of the amount of people that can see it, right? What I'm doing with showing Havana on social media, in my eyes, is no different of when somebody, you know, has a Facebook page. But you're a live streamer to thousands of people, you know, it's not the same as somebody on Facebook with no followers, just the friends on there that they know from school or they know from the local nursery. You are putting your child onto thousands of people at a time. 
for them to do whatever they want with those images, with that screen record. They're strangers. On Facebook, those people know those people on there. They have friends, family, extended family, married into family. You know, they've got a friend list of 200 people who see the post. You're putting, uh, look at this now, look at your views, look at these views combined, you know, and then look at all the screen records that are going to go around that are already out there. So you're doing this to yourself. Be happy with what you've got. I agree with that. But when you're putting it on social media, this has been a short, sharp shock to you that you've gone to bits over the mere anything even being said in your direction. You've gone to bits. This shows that you've gone to bits. So, you know, next time it might not be as innocent as what I was putting out there. I was doing it tongue in cheek. I'm not stupid, you know what I mean? But I was meaning that he's extracting gifts because of the birth of his child. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you so much, babes. Thank you. Which posts there you growing up or videos, etc. Totally etc. Now well, let me explain to you why I see it no different. Anything that is publicly put on social media. Whether you have one follower or millions can go viral. Do you understand? So you may think, oh, just post it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to keep my family life private, but I'm going to post it to these hundred people on my public page. That still can go viral. The people on Facebook generally have friends only, though, and they don't have anyone on there who would take their image and post it. You must have people that would steal your image. And then post it everywhere. And that's what you're saying is that your friends, your immediate friends cannot be trusted. Because if you post it to your private Facebook, there's someone on there that's going to take that image and then get all of all the views off it, for instance. That's what you're trying to say. But people on Facebook don't have their public profiles on public. They have it on lockdown, friends only, because they've got children. What is the number one rule, everyone, when it comes to the pedo hunting on Facebook and all that? What is the number one rule? Tell me the number one rule when it involves your children. Tell me you know it. You know it already. You know the answer to this. Thank you, Racing Girl. You educate people on it. Don't put your kids on social media. There's always going to be someone on there. You say it all the time. All of yous. All the time. So why is it any different now? He's talking shit. You can't control what goes you viral. You can't control it because you don't put anything in public on your child. You're that desperate to put everything in public. It's crazy. Why? You could put your baby up with the blade out face, you know what I mean? You're doing the most, and it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Who sees it? Look how you get me? you are already. And boy, if I want to show my audience that's been watching me grow up myself... But then you're vexed about people who don't watch you, me, Jemzy, you know, all those type. But they're not allowed to say anything. You can't pick and choose, Tyrone, who says what. You're not in control of people. You'll never be able to control anybody. If someone come live tomorrow saying the worst things about you and your child, you could do nothing. So do you need to stop? This is a short, sharp lesson for you to stop. And if you don't, Raise. then next time it won't be someone as friendly as me who says anything. Not that I said anything about your particular daughter in the first place. Is now to raise our daughter. I'm going to do that. And no one's opinion is going to change that, bro. But no people's opinions have upset you. My opinion has upset you. So it does change things. No one's opinion is going to change that. Sophie Rose has never shown her baby on this app that she had with Diadro. If she's ever posted anything, it's been with the child's face covered up because she knows what would happen. That's what I want to do, and that's what I will do. And I see some people say, oh, you're posting it for views. You you're are. posting it for money. You are. Shut the f up. No, you can't tell anybody to shut the F up. I will continue to talk, as will anybody else who sees fit. Stop telling people like you're an authority to shut the fuck up, because we won't. Shut up. How about no? You're just making yourself look a dicker because we're saying no to your face. How about no? How about no? How about we'll say whatever we want? How about you'll do nothing? You're powerless. And one thing I'm going to mention, any money that is actually made from Havana's name or she gets sent products or promotion or anything there like that. There it is. There it is. Promotions. Free items for the child. Promotion. There it is. Promotion. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. There we go. She got a savings account. I can't wait till the day she reaches 16 and I'm like, yo, 
What do you want to do with this? Any do normal parents puts away for the children for that for that occasion. Stop acting like you're special because you're on social media. You know, you make enough money without having to put the child on. Give some of your own money to your child. You're making the with child work. You've just basically said that that child's working. The child is barely out the womb. And you have got your child working. For promotions. Like, for cash. Disgusting. And you've got a cheek to talk. You get me? I, I want to be like, yo, what do you want to do with this? But most what? normal 16-year-olds or 18-year-olds when they turn of age have already got a pop that the parents have been saving into without having to put their child onto social media. How would you not want the, the best for them? Do you get me? You're saying you can't provide the best as it is now. You know, with all your setup and your drip that's in all the shops. Whenever I go to WH Smith, drip is in there. Tyrone's brand drip, whatever he's doing with drip, that he always advertises. You know what I mean? So you're acting like you can't afford to keep your child and that you're relying on these gifts or these promotional packages to come for your child. Like, buy them yourself, you scab. Come on, man. I right, Emma, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Buy them yourself. Appreciate ya. Well, whoever brand it is, he's got a brand deal, hasn't he? You know what I mean? So, And he has a brand deal with a lot of different companies. Boohoo, man. You know, he's a very successful man. You can't take that away from him. So, surely you must have enough money to put away for your child. You know, you could probably put a grand a month away for the entirety of the child's life with the amount you make on promotion alone. And now you want to put your daughter to work when she's barely out the womb. Disgusting. Uh, 16, not 18. I feel like 18... By his own mouth here, he's just said, whatever I get in the baby's name or promotion stuff, it's all going to go into a bank account, for instance. So you're literally putting your child to work. You just exposed yourself. Is this like a bit of a longer way? And I, exactly. I was just 16. Gonna... Did his child consent to be on social media? No. That child could grow up and hate social media because the dad does it. You know, many children don't want to do what the parents are doing because, like, they've lived that life, you know what I mean, for instance. So... This little girl might never want to be on social media. She might not want her image out there, for instance. And he has taken that choice away from the child by doing it. To... In, in the pursuit of cash by his own admission. And this is what I was saying to begin with. He's exploiting the child. And he said it and he admitted it. There'll be two accounts in it for her. Two accounts for her. One, for when she gets to 16 and she needs spending money and everything like that. And then one, when she's 18 and she might need a place to go or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how it'll be. Anyway, let's watch this else video. Thank you, Emma. But you would never understand that because you don't have kids and you can't. So that's why you go for people with kids because it affects you. We got snow with I don't know why people keep saying that all the time. I mean, right, I wanna... I'm 37 years of age. If I wanted a baby by this age, I could have had one. I've got the money in the bank to do it if I wanted to. So these people who go, oh, because you haven't got kids. You, well, you didn't have your kids for half of the life, Elsa Frost, you know what I mean? Like they were taken away from you. Yeah, rumours of burning with an iron and stuff like that, you know. So let's not come it with Mother Earth. I mean, yeah, you know right, I mean? I want... Bloody hell. Mother Earth. <laughs> Diners chat, what does that mean? Mother Earth, come on. Black come and I've actually it. thought about too much. Chill, chill, chill. Hey, I just live in a normal place. It ain't like that. Don't get me robbed. Is a an ex prostitute, you know what I mean? Having a go at me, please. Everything he has, his music, his views, his respect, don't get his me wrongness, his everything. She don't get me robbed. He outweighs any any of you's type of people. No, I don't, platform. chat. This is human like so everyone, please. concentrate on selling your tacky product. So what Tyrone's doing here is bigging up a woman who lost custody of her children. Facts. Everybody knows it's documented on social media by the woman herself on public. So basically what he's doing is he's got this brand new baby in a secure environment, for instance, and he's playing a video from someone who had their children removed. On your Classy. TikTok shop and keep doing your FYPs talking about people to be irrelevant because that's all you do. Irrelevant again, it's relevant. It's again. Keep paying me your money every month, Elsa, for the damage you did to me door. Um, you know, so yeah, you pay me every single month. So boasting about it on social media and lying, lying about it as well. She lied about the whole interaction. So this is the story because obviously there's my story, her story, and then there's the truth, which you can come to yourself. 
So I made friends with her. She befriended me. I already had my platform doing me Evil Queen, if you remember, when she was doing a bloody dancing, banter dancing queen or whatever. So I, thank you so much, Elsa Lion Club Cub. So I already had my Evil Queen. I was getting 4,000 people watching me making all the gifts. So like, I never didn't have a platform before you. I'd been going for years. She claimed on this video um, that I got a platform and I was friends with her because I wanted some type of platform. No, I got stopped in the street by a lad who I know called Kieran and his mum, Tracy. And his mum didn't stop me, it was him. I was in the shop and he went, hey, he said, you know, that Elsa woman's a proper grass. He said, like, she's a grass and she's a known grass. You haven't got a bad name like that. You're going to get a bad name hanging out with her. So I distanced myself. She went on holiday and she lost her phone in the water and I never given me new number. And I come home one day, and because, obviously, she couldn't take the rejection and the fact that I didn't want to be friends with her, she started saying on social media, I'll come round and I'll do this. And you know the way she carries on? She's done it to Miss Red. She's done it to DC Dector. We've all seen she's done it to everybody. Um, so she waged, like, this campaign of I hate Harwood, and she made video after video after video after video. Got herself pissed up with a bit of confidence in her one night. She's never knocked my door, ever. She came, she threw black paint, and she says on a video, what's the big deal? Well, the deal is that it's a listed building, and it had to be sandblasted, so it cost thousands of pounds for that to be fixed. So sitting there going, oh, I wouldn't be bothered if somebody threw paint at my house, you know what I mean? Oh, honest to God, you need to get a grip of yourself. You're telling a lie to everybody saying that. Oh, this, 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 and this. No, you're just a cunt and horrible person who nobody can stick. You know what I mean? Um, you go on about these kids that you've had, but where are the baby dads? They're with other people, aren't they? Because they couldn't stick you. So, yeah, you, you gas on all you like, gas bag. You've been to prison once already. Carry on, you bitch. On, on misery and karma. I'm a great believer in karma myself. Mm. And believe me. It's going to come. Yeah, and you've had your karma over and over again, haven't you? Still watching it happen now, you know what I mean? Thanks for the £18 a month out your benefits, by the way, which proves that you're still on benefits, even though you're making all this money. You're making all this money from your creator, this, that and the other, your videos and that. But you're still paying me out your benefits because it comes in every month and that's court paid. You wouldn't pay £18 into my bank a month. You wouldn't. It doesn't come from your bank. It comes from HTMCS or something like that. You know what I mean? So you're still on benefits. You're still claiming and everything. Don't come at me, love. You're in a two-bedroom council house. I'm about to move to a three-bedroom house. Mm. And it's going to come. So you enjoy your little bed sit with your Jacqueline and leave everybody else alone. Yo. She's jealous. The fact that no man has ever touched her. The only man that would touch her is an old man um, who uses her as a brass. So I know it probably hurts you, the fact that I can get boyfriends in my sleep, you know what I mean? I've had three relationships in the past few years, you know what I mean? Uh, they haven't worked out, of course, like the, the last few, but that's just life for you, you know what I mean? You have to try people out for size sometimes, and sometimes you just don't fit together. But nobody would ever touch you. you never see you with a hunky guy. You never see you doing this, that and the other, you know? So carry on getting your facelifts. You're that unhappy with your own image, you know what I mean? Your facelifts, your eye choppings up and all that, you know what I mean? Don't see me having to get all that done, do you? And I was born a man. And I was born a man. Oh, Mama H1 anyway, with the subs on TikTok. Thank you. People. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, it actually brings me on to Absolutely. another bit. You know, normally, you know how I normally, like, do goggle talk? And I just freestyle goggle top. But I've actually thought about some of the things that to talk about today. And Tyrone producing this woman, she's got like 18 convictions. She's been to jail seven times, you know what I mean? She had a child, children removed from her for years. And she talked about it openly on this app. So I'm going by public knowledge here. And he's playing a clip as some type of clap back towards me. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much, my gorgeous. Choo -choo! You know, bloody hell. And he's got the cheek to say anything to me because I compared him to another creator who was using their baby for money, basically. You know, it's just hilarious, isn't it? Now, let's just do this real quick, yeah? Matty, Matty, thank you for the tier one. He goes on to say now, where's the original clip of a saying all this? It's not anywhere, it's just my reactions and stuff because there was nothing in it. Because nobody read anything into it, unlike you. Thank you, Carissa. It was a 20-second brief video. That's how long the video's for, and he's going, Where is it? Why isn't that video getting traction? One because month, thank nobody you. cares. Another one. Now, let me show you something real quick. Unless it's changed. So, look. Let's just type in this, yeah? Tyrone, evil queen. 
me reacting to that video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, where she said that nonsense. Me reacting to that video where she said that nonsense. Me reacting to that video where she... Say it's all him reacting. Reacting to nothing. He said that nonsense. I am joined to think of 25 months. Chat, do you notice something? Do you notice something? Let me just wait. Do you notice something? The man seems obsessed with me. Look at all the clips he's got favourited to me over the time. Oh, no, he searched this, hasn't he? I was going to say. Bloody hell. Do you want me to say it? <laughs> I just got onto it. He searched my name, didn't he? Yeah. Someone just said it. Because it wasn't a big deal that you've made it out to be in your little stupid head. The original video's not there. Because no one cares. The only reason people start to give it a fuck is because of your reaction. Now and if I reacted to somebody saying something about me, my whole chat would be full of, oh, we hate that person, da 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 You're always going to get support in your own chat, you know what I mean? It's not a, 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 a level reader of, oh, look, this, that, and the other. Like, it's not a level reader, because I could do a poll in my chat now saying, do we hate Tyrone? Everybody would say, yeah. If he did a chat saying, do you hate Evil Queen? Everyone would say, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just, stop thinking that you're something that, because your chats are agreeing with you. Burn the chats, both sides, apart from Canadian Angie. There's a few things that could make the reason to why the original video is not there. No one cares. Let's work it out. Number one, it just didn't get enough attention. Nobody really gave a. F That's the one. But no let one me cares. just debunk that because I had somebody message me. I had somebody message me saying, "Ah." Oh, they sent a massive paragraph, and I never replied because I assumed it might have been cat because no one else said it to me, right? They said a massive paragraph. This has happened, Tyrone. This has been said. I'm so upset. Da -da 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 I ignored it. And the reason why I ignored it because I just assumed it might have been cat. Someone might have been just trying to draw me out. Or you know what I'm saying? No, this is not Miss Red's live love. We don't need a poll to fly up the popular or anything. You know what I mean? We're not. We're not scabs around here, love. We either get up the popular or we don't. We don't need to do pointless polls. Second thing. She didn't want it up. When do I ever do a Maybe poll? she... When do I ever... Chat. When do I ever do any type of poll? You know what I mean? Is it in my daily thing to make a poll up? You know what I mean? Crazy. Realised afterwards what she said was wrong. Moderators block the word poll and anything that they try to get around. I've answered you, love. I can't keep answering you. Block the words, moderators. Thank you. One part of a character is just completely morally wrong what was said. What was said? That's so morally wrong, you weirdo. And they got him taken down. And the third thing is, I don't even know what the fucking third one was. What's the third one? That's because you're a divvy. I don't know. What was the third one? A divvy that can't What was remember. the third one? I don't know what the third one was. I fucking lost my mind. But anyway, what my point is, though, the FYP reposters... Where are we at? Why am I not seeing that original? Look at him having to beg it to get on the FYP. Where is this? Why haven't I seen it? Oh, you beggar. Clip nowhere. Beggar. Where is it at? You FYP posters. Hold on a minute. Let me let me call some of you FYP posters. Never exactly, my loves. What's this out real quick? What's, what's one? Of because it's true, because I watch Miss Red's show, and when Miss Red says something totally outlandish about somebody, for instance, like she'll go, let's do a poll. And then you're like, how is everyone agree with it? But it's because it's her chat. It's like people in our chats love us and idolize us and will go by whatever we say, for instance. So if I was to say something about a creator, it'd go in my favor. Remember when I said about Chelsea the other week? I said, isn't Chelsea a bad mum, everybody? And I did a poll and everyone said she was, but Chelsea did the same poll and everyone said she was a great mum. So that's the, um, the comparison that I'm trying to make to you. It comes to mind, um... Uh, is that you could do anything, love. You say anything in your own chat, and the people will agree with you. Mm. Chat, say and one the only reason I've got people in here now disagreeing is because Tyrone's live, and Tyrone's are coming over here, for instance, you know what I mean? Because if you notice, anybody commenting is not got a sub, they're not a gifter level, you know what I mean? It's just faceless nobodies, basically. If you look at the chat, you can see for yourself, you know what I mean? Quickly. Thank you, subscribe. That post is her clips, Yeah. That post is her clips, real quick.
Not the observer, because he... And I just want to let the people know in the chat who were, um, who were trying to troll me in any type of way. I'm on 59,000 diamonds. That's £600 my audience have spent on this live so far in one hour, 21 minutes. So anything that anyone says to me or creators who try and stir up the pot and stuff and stuff like that, then it just financially benefits me every single time because, you know, yeah. And it's only going to go up, you know, we've still got two hours of the show left. <clears throat> so we don't care, love. We'd, I've made me money the same as I always would, so I'm glad I've got some content to respond to. You put it on YouTube. FYPT. And just so you can see, I'll try and pull it on the screen. Look, 59,000 diamonds right here. See it? 59,000 diamonds. So yeah, so I'm coining it in by talking on this matter, so thank you. <laughs> We'll have a look, and you're commenting for free, just to let you know. Not my subscribers. Oh, Lisa! Oh, love, look at that. That's pushed me right over the 60k mark now, Lisa. Thank you so much, my Lisa. Make sure to comment for your pin, or you can pin yourself, I'm sure, Lisa. So, yeah, so just always remember that the people who are coming in from Tyrone's chat, that you're a penny pauper, and you don't have no followers, you don't have no viewers, you don't have no money, you know what I mean? You're working 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, for, for what I make in a night. So, yeah, so just remember that. And not my people who are here every night who, who pay for the privilege, i.e. subscribe and stuff like that, you know. But, yeah, to the people who are coming over, you are not making as much money as me. Just let it be known. Thank you, Lisa. I love you, baby. Thank you again, Canadian Angie. Thank you, Caroline, David, Carrie, Melanie, Pippa, Alison. All right. So, FYPT. FYPT is my moderator. Hello, FYPT. Put up my response to Gem Z. Yeah, it's my moderator, love. You know. Hello, But FYPT. not the original. Everybody follow FYPT. Best FYP clips on the internet. Clip of EQ. Yeah. Where's the original clip of EQ? On what that nonsense that she said. Somebody has said, darling, you've made £228 tonight. I've been live for one hour 24. What job do you get paid £200 for an hour's work? You know what I mean? Please. Please don't come at me with, but you've only made 200 in reality. For sitting here for an hour chatting shit. Oh my God, who'd like to have that job, everybody? £227, there we go, for an hour. In an hour. So basically, I, I am on £220 an hour wages when I come on live. So you're not, you're not pulling me apart in any type of way by saying that. You're just making me feel even better. Because I don't know till I end the actual total now that you've just told me. So in one hour, I've made 200 odd pounds. Oh, lovely. Not bad. Thank you so much, Shannon. Where is it? I'd lo yeah, look at the chat. You'd love that. Where is it? it? There's a few, though. There's a few. Can't lie. Like, what's going on there? I'm not making money off Tyrone's Child. Tyrone's Child has not been on my screen once throughout this whole clips. What's going on there? I'm responding to Tyrone. Because morally, what she said was completely wrong. Morally, what she said was completely wrong. If that was said about yourself or one of your fan members or something like that, you'd be few. Everyone's saying EQ will go offline in 30 minutes. No, I go offline when the gifts slow down, if you notice. Thank you, Kay. When the gifts are all up, I'll stay on till whatever time. But then, thank you, Haley. If I monitor the situation and it goes 15 minutes or so without me getting a gift, then I'll just close it down because I'm here to be paid. That's all I'm here for. I'll entertain you, yes, but, like, you've got to pay me to do it. Human. Or I won't You'd be do human. It. A lot of people would have took it a complete different way to the way I took it. You know what I'm saying? What's no, the... he's so boring. This. But, uh, this is from... Complete different clip. But oh, where's the original? Your gifts are from workers? Yeah, my friends, workers. Not you plebs, without even a score by your name, love, you know what I mean? Evil Steve back up, thank you so much. I'm not interested in anyone without evil or liar next to the name, you know what I mean? Sorry about it, but I'm not. Nice people who watch me every day who are skint, I get used. Thank you, Hayley. Choo-choo! <laughs> bang, 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 because I appeal to everyone. Make sure to comment, Evil Steve and Haley. But anybody without anything who's saying anything bad, then I'm not going to take what you've got to say on board because you're not paying me. Where's the original? You can catch my full live, Jordan, on um, YouTube when I finished. If you go to the Observer on YouTube, they post my full live without the beginning bit. So without the 20 minutes where I say thank you, thank you, blah, blah, blah. So they do it from the very first. So 
the Observer YouTube, everyone, if you want to catch up on my show. Thank you, Queen Bob. Hello. Can't lie. I'm trying to see the original clip somewhere other than that YouTube page, what the Observer put up. Can't lie. Where is it? Where's the original Thank chat? Thank you, Shelby, for becoming a phone subscriber. Mm. Where's the original? Oh, no one cares but you, you're saying. In reality. Thank you, Janie. In reality, no one cares but you. That's what you've got to remember. No one cares but him. Nobody's losing sleep tonight. Nobody's going to go to bed thinking about it. Racing girl. Choo-choo. Bang, bang, bang. No one's going to go to bed thinking about it. Do you think the, the last thought on someone's mind is going to be, Oh, look what evil queen said. No, love. Everyone's got a life. Thank you, Rosie Lee. You're trying to make people bothered, but they're not. Thank you, Rosie Lee. Thank you, racing girl. You're trying to make people bothered, but they're not. Right. Where do we go next? Thank you so much, everybody. I don't lose views, love. I have the same views every night. Um, I'm catering for my audience that I have every night, love. And I have these same numbers every single night. Doesn't matter whether I'm doing anything. Same numbers every night, love. And I'm on 68,000 diamonds now. So check out how much I've made now. You know what I mean? Go and check your tick leap again. Um, let's see. Luna discusses her love life. Hey, um, Amanda, I struggle with taking cock. Ah, 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 ah. Hello, Leah Jimmy Neutron. Choo choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Leah Jimmy Neutron. I love you lots. Thank you, Caroline MacBacker, for subscribing for the first time. Thank you, Caroline. Uh, it kind of goes in and doesn't stick. Oh, Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amanda, I struggle with taking cock. Ah, ah. Thank you so much, Biggie. Thank you, babes. That's hilarious. Came up with it. And she gives an update on Sheila, who has been admitted to hospital. The, um, some kind of inf uh, infection. But they are t testing for sepsis as well. So. Uh oh. Oh, I hope she has got the sepsis one. Sepsis. Don't you lose limbs with that? Thank you, Biggie. Thank you, Alan, Alana, Elijah. Um, don't you don't you lose limbs off sepsis? We need sepsis in the building. Oh. I'm not going to be on here long. I'm just having a little break, so I'll probably be here till about eight. I hate. You know what? I don't like hearing from doctors, man, because they, they they have no compassion. You know what I'm saying? They just say it. Like Sepsis can kill you, great! I'll probably, if he comes with bad news, I'll probably be in the bed next to him, man. I probably would have fainted. So this is a, this is a huge, huge challenge for me because... Thank you, Emma. I Thank usually run babe. out when the doctor comes in, you know? And I have to be there, oh, and I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I thought this was an update on Sheila. So far, all we've heard is Delusive Angie saying about not wanting to, you know, hear from doctors, this, this, this. Where's the update about Sheila? Really? Oh, you shit. You tell them, Angie. She could have, no, it came up in her blood, though. I wonder if it could be COVID. Hmm. Didn't think of that. I, I hope it is maybe COVID. I don't, you know, obviously wouldn't want it to be sepsis or anything else. But I'm... I nearly died with sepsis now after deal with the after effects. Well, no one's talking about you, are they, love? We're only talking about one in particular person. That's what people need to stop doing, relating yourselves to what I'm talking about, because you're always going to be offended if you do that. What you have to do is take a step back from feeling offended about, oh, well, that's happened to me, or I know someone who that's happened to. Who cares? This is an entertainment show. And we say it's called Evil Queen and FYP News. So I do the FYP News in the evil manner. You know what I mean? So I will wish ill fortune and stuff. You know, it's not e Evil Queen. It's not Nice Queen, is it? Up there, you know what I mean? Or any of those things. I'm going to say I don't have a five minutes and I'm going to go back in. Oh, she's boring. Did, Did you just say to me? I'm not repeating it. I've said it and I see it. Yeah, because you know you shouldn't have said it. What? Mentally retarded? Yeah. Well, I've just said it again. Why should I say it? It's, it's <laughs> Thank not you, Evil Why am I 
mental then? Well, I don't know. You do things daft. Like what? Well, like what you just said you do when, when you're meeting a bloke. You are a fucking idiot. What did I say I do then? Oh, well, I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. I don't... I don't wear, work on things like that. Daily is... Oh, lovely. Yeah. I don't say, oh, stick it in your brain pan. You might need it one day. No, I it's don't. It's just gone. It's, it's gone, and I don't bother. Well, I don't do anything with men, thank you very much. What? I don't do anything with men, thank you very much. You don't do anything with, with men? No. Oh, Leah. Choo-choo. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Leah. Thank you, my love. Seventh on the sub comp. Can everyone sub if you're not already or send a gifted sub? That would be absolutely great. You only have to send one gifted sub just to be generous, like, you know what I mean? Love you too, Leah. Well, what do you... Just to be generous. What'd you get with then? A fucking maggot. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my ex. <laughs> my ex is a maggot. Oh, racing girl. Thank you so much for the. You're just trying to keep me on now, aren't you? Because you know what I just said. Thank you so much, racing girl. Make sure to comment so we, well you can pin yourself. Thank you, Astrid, for subscribing. Astrid, lovely name. Thank you so much. Yeah, because I said, didn't I? I said, oh, well, I only go off when there hasn't been gifts for 15 minutes. I do, honestly. When it starts slowing down, I'm like, oh, well, I'm not making no money now. I have to go. Uh, I have that's to go. my ex. I'm well, worth money, honey. Whatever you say. Is that thank you so much for the gifted sub, Elaine. Thank you very much. Gifted subs to Lucy. To you, uh... You just beg for gifts. Since when have you heard me begging, love? Telling people to do things is a totally different concept. Lisa! Thank you so much, Lisa, for the five gifted subs. If you get a gifted sub off Lisa, make sure to say thank you, my love. Yeah, no one's begging or anything, love, you know what I mean? I'm telling people to do things, like, and I'm articulating. Like, you wouldn't get another person who was live going, oh, I'm, I'm going if the gifts don't stop and actually go. I do, you know what I mean? So people know the threat is real. I think you're an idiot. It's very it's real. Still... I need to Why am I an I'm idiot? House. I'm moving house. I need all the money. Why am I an idiot? Because the things you come out with, you're not normal. Yes, I am. I don't At least I'm so. honest, yeah. But then each to his own. Yeah. And that's why people like to watch me, you know what I mean? That's why I do have the same numbers in every day, you know. This is, like, to, to be a live streamer, you know, when people go, oh, she's fallen off. How could I ever fall off when I have 2,000 people every single day? And those are people who gift. They're not just viewers, like Miss Red sits there for four hours and gets, gets at 90 pounds. I'm taking away hundreds every night, you know what I mean? So I'll stick with being me and telling people the truth because the truth gets you very far. You know, thank you, Jane. So people know that I come on to get my daily wage and I also entertain. I don't just battle or do... I never battle. I don't do anything like that. I come and be honest. And when you're honest about town... Thank you, racing girl. When you're honest, people are like, oh, fair game. I like, I like, the, I like the grind, you know what I mean, sort of thing. You won't get no deception around here, love. I do love you. No, you don't. That's something else you think you do. No, I bloody know I, I do. Term. Yeah, and you thank might. you to everyone who's always supporting me. I'm not being hard-faced. I'm just replying to the trolls who think, like, you know what I mean, like they can tell me anything, you know, when they're sitting there typing for free. You know, and what have they got to show at the end of my live? Nothing. Nothing. Do you know when I end this live now, apart from the people who've got involved in the live, the people who have said anything negative, where do they go? Someone else's live to say negative things? I am um, water... What is the saying? Thank you so much, Spike. Thank you, you distracted me, Spike. Choo choo, bang, bang, bang. Thank you, Spike. I am water, you are glue. Whatever you say sticks back on you. Is that the one? So that's what it's like. Thank you so much, Xtina. Tinks, sorry. Thank you, Spike. I'm rubber, your glue. Well, there we go. All of those things. I think you know. But... Like the people who engage in my live, whether they subscribe, double tap or whatever, they come off my live and think, oh, that was a good live. That I enjoyed that. It was interactive, you know, it was like involving. Thank you, David. 
And people don't get blocked, if you notice. The only time people get blocked is if they're saying things directed at me. It's like, who are you to come to my workplace? The NHS don't accept abuse towards the staff. So I shouldn't be getting abuse on here, you know what I mean? So it's it's okay, Spike. Um, so yeah, so I will always stick up for myself. And you'll never get me say, like like shying away from responding to anybody, you know what I mean? You'll get it right back and then you won't like my response, which is the thing. Thank you, Kieran. Too many people think they can say whatever they like about me on this app. And when I come back, oh, the world's over. The world's over. Don't say nothing to me in the first place then. You know, keep your distance. But you Stay bet. far away from a sister. Oh, I do. You can carry on saying... You can give it, but you can't take it. We will find you. What have I done to you? What have I given to you? For you to give to me, for instance, you know what I mean? So, to the trolls, you go and you can give it, but can't take it. But I'm not giving you nothing. I'm responding to Tyrone, for instance. That's a response to him. So, that's me giving it back after getting it, for instance, you know what I mean? But when you're in the chat giving to me, well, I've never given off to you, have I? Never said anything bad about you. You know what I mean? So you're blocked anyway because you're a fake count, but I'm just going to say that there's no give and take when it comes to a random person making a comment, you know what I mean? There simply isn't. How can there be? Thank you, Charlie. Because you're giving to me, but I don't know you and I've never given to you in the first place. Did I say anything about you? Have I mentioned your family? Have I mentioned you? No. You're making yourself known in my chat. Thank you, Jay Pucci. I'm not trying to find you. I'm not tracking you down to say something to you. I'm not in your inbox, so how am I giving you anything? I'm responding to fellow creators, of course, because they're on my level, for instance. But these random people who come in and go, you can give it, but can't. I'm always giving it. I give it right back tonight and a hell of a lot load more. And I think I did really well, to be honest. Thank you, Buffy Slayer. Thank you very much. So I can receive it and give it back, but not to comment. How can I, how can I have ever done anything to you? You've chose to come around here and watch me and turn me on on the screen and, and watch and offend yourself. You chose to do that. I never found you. I never looked for you. I didn't even know you existed until you wrote in the chat. So until I'm saying to you personally, blah, 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 then you can come and give it me back all day. But I don't know you. Never said even a hi, you buy, you leave to you. Don't have a clue, you know. Obviously, I know all my supporters, but I don't know random trolls, you know what I mean, who are going to come in and try and give off to me. Oh, yeah, love. I don't know nothing about you, so I can't give it back to you, if you get what I mean. Like, if someone writes a comment in my chat, then I can't just... I don't know them, so I can't come back at them with anything, you know what I mean? So I just block them, because you're just chatting shit to me. You're not paying me any money to do it. And I'm at work. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I can give it as good as I get from a person sitting on a screen talking to me. So if you've got anything to say to me, then make a video, and I'll show it on my FYP tomorrow, and I'll respond to you. I will respond to you. Bye, crikey, I'll respond to you. So, there we go. So, yes, I can take it, and I can also give it. So, be my guest to make a video, tag me in it, and I'll play it tomorrow and respond to you live. But don't come in my comments, you know what I mean? Because I don't know you. I've never seen your face. I can't judge you. I don't know how many crotch goblins you've got, you know what I mean? So, I don't know all about you. Really? It don't make no difference. Well, I forgot all about this clip now, so we need to watch another clip. Ems and Angie discuss EQ. Um, Thank you, Zoe. Twist an argument. EQ knows a fuck of hell. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but what I'm just saying. She wasn't. If EQ wasn't like that, it wouldn't be EQ. I would love Ems. She's so lovely. Yeah, yeah but I know what you're saying, but a comedian would not cross the line and talk about children. And but they do. Have you never seen Roy Chubby Brown or Frankie Boyle or any of those things, you know what I mean? Imagine going to a Frankie Boyle show and he calls you a dirty this, that and the other. You know, I bet your kids are ugly. You don't think that Frankie Boyle has said things like that to people? So yes, comedians do use dark humour. Comedians do say bad things, depending on what type of comedian they are. If you're watching a comedian who's just da -da 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 -da, after laughs and jokes, but there are offensive comedians out there. Jimmy Carr, there we go. Thank you, Jay Pucci. There's so many offensive comedians out there. You're choosing to watch me. I'm not making you watch me. So yes, comedians do go far and into the ground. Paul Smith, there you go. And nothing's off bounds to them. Terrorism, nothing. You know what I mean? I've watched a comedy show where there's somebody been walking through the crowd with a headscarf on. Oh, everyone duck. They're planting a bomb. Thank you, David. You paid to go and see that act. You paid to go and listen to them make that type of comment.
segment. So I've heard that joke before when somebody's walking through with something on the head and they go, Oh, everyone, watch, watch. So there's a bomb going to be placed or something similar like that. You know, so there we go. And the way she does, they were just wooden. I've never heard of a comedian talk about children and the way she does. But I don't understand what this is that I've said about children. I don't really get it, to be honest, love, you know what I mean? I've never seen a single clip of me, you know, saying anything about children in any type of way. I implore anybody to find anything, you know what I mean? It's just absolutely nuts. One time during Me of a Queen, I said, Oh, I hope all your kids die of SIDS. So what? So? Who gives a shit? Not me. I'm still here. Four years later. I said that four years ago. I'll say it again now. I hope every one of your kids dies of SIDS. There we go. Oh, come and strike me down. My words are really going to make it happen, aren't they? I'll say what I want when I want. Whatever. And I don't care. Stop trying to hold me over something like, oh, but she said that all, kids. So what? Thank you, Haley. It's not going to make it happen, is it? Thank you so much, Amy, for the gifted subs, my beautiful. Thank you so much. Comedian. That's not comedian. You know what that is? It ends. Trying, someone trying to hide behind your neck. Behind... Well, I've never done nothing but an act on here, so I don't really understand it. Even now, you know what I mean? Like, do you think when I come off here, I'm like, oh, this, that, and the other? No, I'm just a normal, nice person, you know, who lives a normal life. You know, I've got a normal partner. I get upset about the same things as the next person does, you know, but online I do an act. Every single thing I've ever done on this app is an act. Who goes around the world saying things, you know what I mean? Do you think I'd walk around public and go, oh, look at you, you dirty bitch in your wheelchair, for instance? No. I'm saying it to other creators who will bounce back and fire back at me. You know, I'm not going around terrorising innocent people. And after these people have transphobically abused me, the first thing they ever go to is, well, I could say something about her gender. Well, there we go then. Shows you're not a nice person, isn't it? Thank you, Haley. So stop trying to act for the five gifted subs. Haley. thank you so much. Make sure to get in, my love. Death, you're all taking TikTok as if it's the real life. You know what I mean? Go and put that on your FYP that I said it again. And I'll say it again and again and again. My words are powerless. Do you think everyone's going to wake up tomorrow, everyone? 2,000 people are here and all the kids are going to be dead. All the kids are going to be dead. Because I've said something. No. Now get a grip. And I'll say it all the more. That's what I hide behind next. That's no act. That's real. That's what, her. Whatever EQ does. So why every single creator that I've met and everybody I've ever come across in life has come and said, you know what, offline, she's a totally different person, like she's a, just the nicest person. How many times have you heard that from people who've met me, you know what I mean, an actual person? You know what I mean? So all these people are wrong who've got a personal relationship off social media, for instance. You've never had anyone who's, everyone who's ever met me goes, oh... She thinks she's this evil thing when she's not, this, that, and the other. But you're open. Even DC Dector said it. Miss Red said it. So all these people who have known me off the app have all said, offline, she's a lovely person. She's, she's lovely. She's supportive. She's this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? So nobody's saying any different. But on social media, this is my, my, my routine. The evil queen of the app. So, I'm sorry about you getting personally offended because I said SIDS. Oh, <gasps> is somebody going to break the door down through the night and bash me up because I said that? No. I said it four years ago and I've just said it again now. I'm not bothered. Money. Money. M's nose. Yeah, Do everything for money. It's, it's money. Yeah? Yeah, so if she's in the lines of the, um, you say it's about money, yeah? Yeah. I'm not being, she fucking makes people laugh and she comes on, she comes on for money. Yeah, exactly. She told people that, she, she fucking knows that, we all know that. So, uh, How many people in the chat are worried now tonight that your baby's not going to wake up because Evil Queen said that online? How many of you are really concerned right now and you really think it's going to happen and, you know, because I've said that, uh, it's going to come and happen and come true? Well, there we go. Honest to God. Weirdos. Can I ask you a question? Are you still talking about money, yeah? Have I committed a criminal offence, anybody? By saying that, have I committed a criminal offence? So if I've not committed a criminal offence, who are you to tell me I've done anything? You know, who are you? Unless I'm being arrested and sent to jail for this crime that I've committed by saying this. You know what I mean? So, if they are, in the eyes of the law, if I haven't committed a crime right now by saying that, then who, who do you think you are? That is why she is so successful with what she does. 
<laughs> yeah, but this is what I'm asking you. Is it, do you think it's about money with it? It's about money. Of course it is. Well, let's put it this way. You wouldn't be on the app doing a live stream if it weren't for money. Okay. All right, that. let me tell you something, yeah? You've got Jimmy you. Savile, yeah? Jeanette, listen, I know she's not... Now, she's referencing Jimmy Savile here, but Jimmy Savile abused people in, in, in the position of power. He went to Stoke Mandeville Hospital, opened a ward there, visited the sick patients in the bed, the, the children, and he interfered with them. When have I ever interfered with the child abuse fans? You don't like it when your head gets put on Jimmy Savile, so how dare you reference me in the same breath as Jimmy Savile? What children am I abusing? Hey. What what people am I sexually abusing? So, you don't like it when that comparison's made about you, Delisa Vanjie, you know what I mean? So, yeah, outlandish, really, isn't it? Mocking child abuse. An evil queen on an app, and you related to child abuse. Oh, you know, I think the one who speaks about it the most is probably the most guilty, because everybody to Delisa Vanjie, when they fall out with her, is a child abuser. Everyone. Everyone who she falls out with, though. Uh, I, I have suspicions about you. You're PLM. You're this, that, and the other. She's never got that thought off, out of her mind, ever. She's always talking on children and saying, oh, well, I'm, I'm talking on the parents, not the children. But you are, because that's the children that you're relating the parent to by saying what you're saying in the first place. So, yeah, Angie, mocking child abuse, you know. You're constantly talking about it. It must be in your mind, because to call everyone a pedlo and this, that, and the other, then you're thinking about children being abused, are you not? Because when you talk about something, you imagine it, don't you, in your mind? Like a mental image comes in your mind, no matter what you could be talking about in the world, some form of mental image will come. So when she's saying all this stuff, you know, about this person messing with a kid or the other person, it's a go-to thing, you know what I mean? If you notice with delusive energy. So I say she who smelt it, dealt it. Not on the lines of Jimmy Seville, I'm not saying that, but Jimmy Seville, money, yeah? Where, but the BBC covered his actions because of money. Do you understand me? This is where the, the things need to be changed. No, we don't understand the ramblings of the local alcoholic on this occasion. Changed. It's disgusting and it's not okay. To be on social media talking about children. But I don't. I don't come on children uh, on social media talking about children. Where are all these clips every day that I'm live talking about all these children? There isn't any. She just makes it up as she goes along. <laughs> Honestly, that's the only thing you ever get from it. She talks disgusting on children. When? When? Wishing sits on everybody. So, part of me, the queen routine. Part of me, comedy routine. You dare waste in a comedy show. About terrorists, about this, about that, about the other. People, they, a comedian will tell you your children are ugly, for instance. So, yes, people do make comedy out of situations, but you constantly talking about pedalos and that, you must be one yourself. You know, okay. you draw the line when it comes to children. You What's draw that, that line. What's not okay is a uh, court assassin sitting there asking people to donate to the PP. Uh, saying it's for a kid's Christmas presents and it's also for a fine. That's well, what's not funny cool. is as Eki coming on a social media platform as an ex I saying, I hope, baby, I hope your baby won't be. I hope your baby does Well, I've just said it again. Who cares? Have I committed a crime now? Uh, and I'll say it all the time. If I want, I'll say whatever I want whenever I want. Thank you so much, Kindred Spirits. It's only just popped into my head now, I might be wrong. She ha well, all Angie does is inadvertently disrespect people's children and question their parenting, for instance, when she's barren as fuck. She goes, I had the opportunity to help. No, you didn't. No, you did not. You did not. Stop lying to everybody, you know what I mean? Has um, just been done for benefit fraud. Do you not think that fine could be possibly to do with a benefit fraud? And she doesn't want to say that. So when she's telling people, go look after your children, she's saying those children are neglected to hence talking about the children, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, Pollywood. So Angie's platform is the whole chat is always about people's children. Do you not think that EQ has never been arrested and is where she is because of money? No. Just like Jimmy said. Who do I have control over in respect of law enforcement? I've already been to jail once myself, you know what I mean? So I'm not above the law. I just don't commit crimes. You think that I commit crimes because I say distasteful things, but wishing things and that are not criminal offences. I can make as many wishes as I want. I could wish you dead, your mum dead, everyone. 
and no one could say anything, the police wouldn't get involved in a single, single thing. And if she goes, but it's malicious communications, look at your malicious communications, you're comparing me to Jimmy Savile. So I expect it back, alcoholic. I will just... In your leggings. Like all these... An alcoholic in leggings. You know, what's that good on the newspaper? Exactly. We all know it. She's on the news. Though. Thank you, Ems. I'm all over the newspaper for committing crimes. Dental, practicing dentistry when I'm not a dentist. You know what I mean? I'm not above any law whatsoever. I'm just not committing any crimes. Thank you so much, Lauren. What I'm saying may be distasteful and unpleasant to hear, but we don't police the feelings of people. They're not the feelings police, they're the criminal police for crimes that are occurring, for people hitting people or for people graping. Thank you, Justice Hardy, for the subscription. Thank you, babe. Hello, Mr. and Miss Hardy. So that's what you're failing to understand what I'm saying. Maybe distasteful, but I'm not committing any crimes. So who are you? The internet police, sir. Ah, poppycock. It was fucking iconic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying sorry to the judge. I I'm not going to lie. Thank you. No, I, I, Thank I, you, I, no I'm not sorry. So what it was was um, she didn't want to do community service. She didn't want to be with all the people with community service. So she went to prison because she didn't want to do community service. <laughs> Let me just reiterate to you, everybody. Views don't mean anything. Miss Red sits on five to six every single morning. Does she make as much money as me now? Go and look at Miss Red's tick leap and look at mine. I'm here for money. I'm not here to make friends with everybody. I make friends with people as I go along. And I've got friendships with a lot of yous. But I don't come on for views. I don't come on to to have 7,000 people who are going to sit there trolling me. Look at, look at earlier on. Someone else was playing my live and I had all their trolls. They're not viewers that I want, you know what I mean? I'm happy with my steady two every single day. I'm making money. I'm on 78,000 diamonds right now. And it's I'm here for money. That's all I'm here for, you know what I mean? And I will entertain you for that money. I will give you something back. That's me being completely transparent with you. So how are you sitting there, anybody on different live streams going, oh, look at my views, look at my views for yourselves because you're talking about me, for instance. It's not giving you nothing. How much do you think Tyrone is on his live tonight? It won't be 78k. You know, and he was live streaming me. So there we go, loves. You know, I don't care about views. I don't care if you want to farm views from my live and play my live. It doesn't affect my income. My people who watch me religiously day in, day out and will send me support financially, whether, whatever method that may be. You know, whether it be double tapping, sharing me, 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 me shop content, you know, liking that. That's all I'm here for. Honestly, that's literally all I'm here for. £350. There we go. I've earned £350 in one hour 54. Who earns that in two hours? £300. So I'm not here for the views. So when Angie's sitting there going, Oh, hey, 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 I'm getting loads of views of her. Have your views. Have all the views. Miss Red, have all your views too. Views are not important to me. People spending money is important to me. Not views. I'm not interested. I could have 10,000 people watching now. And it's me loyal people who are going to support me day in, day out. I'm not asked. <laughs> the views don't pay you nothing unless it's on your videos. Hello, Gracie, my darling. Hope you're having a lovely holiday. Sally, thank you so much for the fireworks, beautiful. Make sure to comment and we will pin you. <clears throat> views don't pay the bills, you know what I mean, unless it's on content videos. But I'm a live streamer. And as are these other people who are commenting on my lives and views and this, that and the other. Views don't pay my bills. <laughs> Yeah, but what I'm trying to say to you, Ems, it's all about money with EQ. It's all money, 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 money. This is them, this Jimmy Savile and other people. It's all money. It's all fucking money. Money over morals. No, because Jimmy Savile had the money from the appearances he made in being a dirty see you next Tuesday and abusing who he abused. Thank you, Lily. <clears throat> is his own sick, depraved fetishes and fantasies. That's nothing to do with money. He had all the money in the world. He was on every TV show. <clears throat> he had all the money, you know what I mean? If you watch a documentary, there's a documentary about Jimmy Savile on Netflix, everybody. And that gives you a more in-depth insight into it if you want some real education on Jimmy Savile. It's disgusting. When it comes to children, you draw that line. You draw the line. No. Gracie! Thank you so much, my darling, for the silver sports car. I hope you're having the best time on holiday. Can't wait to meet up again, love. We move very soon, Gracie. So you have to Because of money. Do you it's, understand it's me? It's your turn. This next. is where... This... Sorry. Things need to be changed. It's disgusting. It's not okay. Well, so, we, so, how does anything like that relate to me? 
what children do I have around me? What hospitals do I go and visit to try and help out at the hospital and stuff? And, you know, I'm not on top of the pops, groping up women and young girls and stuff like that. So the comparison is totally outlandish. Yeah, absolutely, Gracie. But I don't come on social media and talk about children. Does anybody see, would any of you watch me if I come on every day talking about children the way Angie's trying to mislead people into believing? When do I ever talk about children? No, I've never. When it comes to children, you what's draw that, that long. What's not okay is a uh, court assassin sitting there asking people to donate to a fucking PP. There we go. So why why would any of these women with children who are watching watch me if I was discussing children every day? I wouldn't even discuss children every day. I've got no reason to. Yes, I've took swipes at Miss Red and stuff like that, but she's took equally as, as important strides as what I've done to her, but you wouldn't see it on the severity as what I see it. You know what I mean? Because what you've got to remember is Miss Red actually has kids, grandchildren, this, that and the other. So she thinks that she can say whatever she wants about me, delve into my relationship, say poor this person, that, the other, paint me out to be a domestic abuser. And I've said to Miss Red, oh, you stick nappies on your head and frig yourself off. That's the limit, what I've said, you know what I mean? Things along that line. I've not brought up children doing sexual acts to anybody or anything, you know what I mean? I've never said I'm going to do anything to anybody. And Miss Red's come out with that herself. She said the difference between Evil Queen is she's never said she's going to physically come and do something to any children or put any children in danger or any of those things. This is just the words of an alcoholic chatting a load of shit. Uh, saying it's for a kid's Thank Christmas you, presents and it's also for a fine. That's well, what's not funny cool. is as Eki coming on a social media platform as an ex I saying, I hope your baby, one sec, I hope your baby dies of sins. Yeah, I said it to everybody, not a person. So I never said to a person on this app, I hope your baby. Did I, everybody? Or did I laugh in me evil queen routine and did I say, I hope all your kids die of sins? Ha, ha, ha. So that's the key, the key information here is that I did not target anybody. Bye, Gracie. Thank you, babes. I did not target anybody and single anybody out and say, you, Jennifer. So she's saying, telling people, I can say whatever I want in my dark humour. And why is she so obsessed with Jimmy Savile? It makes you wonder, you know what I mean? Like, why? What is the obsession with Delusive Angie and... Jimmy Savile. Why is it a running theme throughout her live and stuff? Why is it always Jimmy Savile? It's like she idolises the man or something. She said that Jimmy Savile was innocent because he never got prosecuted with anything in his life. He never got in front of a judge and the victims are liars and that uh, Jimmy Savile's innocent. That's what she said about Jimmy Savile. It still just popped into my head now, I might be wrong. She has um, just been done for benefit fraud. Do you not think that fine could be possibly she said. to do with a benefit fraud? And she doesn't want to say that. Do you not think that EQ has never been arrested and is where she is because of money? That'd be just so like stupid. it's disgusting when it comes to children you draw Thank that you, line Lauren. draw the line no she talks about everybody's children inadvertently by discussing people's parenting for instance you know what i mean i feel sick into my stomach the world what the world has become i swear to god but you said jimmy Savile was innocent i thought about money and now you want to you have eq discussing about children i hope you i hope your baby dog what money am i paying to anybody thank you bex you know what i mean i'm hardly making footballers wages am i you know what i mean she's acting like i'm making 30 grand a week you know what i mean that's the way she's acting i'm making all this money and i've got all this power and influence i don't so if i don't come on i lose my platform simple as it doesn't matter who you are on this app if you choose not to come on then you are losing your platform so it doesn't matter either way it's so what money am I paying? Where's all these thousands of pounds coming from? Because I don't need thousands of pounds a day, you know what I mean? Nowhere near. So where's all this thousands of pounds that I'm giving to Merseyside Police or buying this person off, that person off? I'm not a mega rich person. I'm not a millionaire. You know what I mean? These people act like I'm some millionaire and, oh, I'm casting all these spells and all that. Don't be so stupid. Who the hell am I paying off on my wages? Yeah, I hope your baby does have cot death. And that's yeah. a it's all about money. Yeah. I never actually used the word cot death. That's Angie putting that in. I said, SIDS. Thank you so much, Bex. Thank you so much. So much. You can have sudden infant death syndrome by any means possible. Not cot death specifically. You know what I mean? 
So she's the one who's saying this, not me. I've never used the word cut death. You are all about money. No, but I don't. No, I'm not. That's where you're wrong. When it comes to children, I've never discussed children in that. You do all the time. Manner, you know what I mean? All yeah, the time. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> Who has heard delusive Angie discuss people's children time and time and time again? How how many times have you seen her use people's children against them? She does all the time, we know. You haven't, no, always, no. You haven't, you haven't always not spoken to Evil Queen. Exactly. Uh, it's only possibly recently that you're... Yeah, me and Angie have only recently parted ways. So she was friends with me after the SIDS thing in the box, chatting away, always let me in, this, that and the other, you know what I mean? So... This is where these people are derailed because she's only got a problem with me is because I don't like her. I don't like the way she went down that path of saying the wrong thing about people's um, really serious traumas, calling them into question that. And I have got my limits personally, you know what I mean? And taking the sides of people when they're too completely guilty, you know, is too much for me and I won't stand by it because you're not being true. How can 2,000 people be saying you're wrong and then she's still sitting there? So that's what I don't like. That's why I don't like her anymore. You know what I mean? That's why I don't like her because she literally says that people are innocent when they're not. They're guilty. You know what I mean? And the good thing is she's lost everybody now. She's lost me. She's lost Miss Red. You know, she hasn't got anybody around her, big creator-wise, who will go into a box, for instance. You know what I mean? And nobody's going near her. Everybody's standing away from her now. And she doesn't evil like queen. it. Uh, well, I've got longevity in no matter what I do. Because if you notice, these are talking about me. Um, evil Queen's been doing her... Yeah, but EQ have always discussed it for my platform. E evil Queen, she, she's been doing it at FYP for quite some time. So when she was horrible, that was, what, about a year, maybe a year and a bit ago now? You've been speaking to her since then. Exactly. Yeah. Like, what, in your box? And stuff yeah. Yeah. I've got WhatsApp messages of Angie. I've got text messages, you know, where she's come to me about things. So how can you be so against the things that I've said during Evil Queen, for instance? And then liaise with me and be friendly with me and text me and stuff, you know. And only I've took my friendship back because you're an idiot. That's what you don't like. Yeah. Let me let me reply to that. Yeah. Only because of now, now you're not friends with her again. Now you're bringing all the stuff up in the past, but that mm -hmm. didn't matter to you, did it? That didn't matter to you. When you were can I reply? To her. Can I reply? That didn't matter to you when you were talking exactly, to her. Exactly, Em. Yeah. Can I reply? I've never been a biased FIP. Mm -hmm. If someone comes to the box, they come in my box, yeah? But I've always yeah. said, even when I was friends with EQ, one sec, one sec, Ems, even when I was friends with EQ, and this is why she don't like me, I've always discussed this. No, it's not. You've never. Whenever I've been friendly with you, you've never, ever discussed me in any type of negative light at all. So stop lying. It's only now that I'm calling out your bullshit that you've got something to say about me. You never sat there calling my bullshit out when I was in your box or in your chat, etc. Stop lying. Sis coming. When she's told a woman to, I hope your baby does have sis. Exactly. She always defended me, stood up for me. And it's only because I've took me friendship. She doesn't like that fact that I've took me friendship back from her because she's such an idiot. And I can't be around idiots. I'm a smart, intelligent, switched on person. So I can't be around someone who's given the wrong information. I thank you, Bob. So especially about such serious topics as well, you know. Saying Jimmy Savile's innocent and the victims are liars and stuff like that. Like, all this stuff is just, like, how you can talk on anyone else's behaviour, I don't know. At least I'm doing an act. You're not doing an act. Everything you say is off your own back. You stand by your word. You say it all the time. I do not behave like you in any manner whatsoever. Yeah, and everything else she's done, I've always said that on my platform. That's why she don't like me. And I've always had... On... That's not true at all. Everybody who watches my show on a daily basis will tell you I started to go away from Angie when she was backing up all the wrong ones so that she had a show for the day. So when something really serious was happening, she would back that person and have them in the box and defend them and stuff. And, you know, by the end of the day, you know, people are misled, misled and blindsided. So that's why I started using my platform to correct the things that she'd been saying, you know, to go back at her. And she's been crying and stuff over it. Thank you, Alison. So I just think of all the people she's made cry and who she hasn't give two shites about and embarrassed them on a platform and stuff like that. So I do the same to her and she doesn't like it. She doesn't like the fact that I've made her cry and stuff and I've affected her, you know. So we seen the other day she cried over me and all that. So you're getting a taste of your own medicine.
You will never, ever be any match for me. Not here, now, next week, next year. Never you will be any match for me. So, yeah, stay affected. My platform, yes. But I'll always discuss it. Even when I was... Thank you, Jessica, for the coral. Thank you. I've always said, I've always said a video. See the way I'm still on? Because I'm still getting gifted. If there's a break for a certain amount of time in my gifts, then I, I have to go, but I'll keep discussing while the money's rolling in. Thank you, Jessica. Even when I was friends with EQ, I've always played you my videos no, on my life. She'll tell you that. She'll tell you that. Ems, 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 I've just exposed Angie tonight for you saying. Said, you, said, you sat there and said that you did things with the dog, so, you know. Exactly. Uh, she said she did things with the dog, her own father, a make-believe brother, you know. This woman's no one to talk about anybody. i never forget that. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, babe. Thank you, Chels. Shut the fuck up. Not have you heard what she said tonight? Pin yourself, Leah. Oh, you heard? <laughs> what, have I heard? what have I said? Okay, and wait, Muir, Muir. Basically, me, Dave Durand, and uh, someone else who's on live with her, she's saying that a grapist deserves... Do you know what I was thinking as well is, I like Dave Durand's, like, I like me banter that I have with them, but I, I'm getting bad vibes from this. I'm leaving the app and whatever anyone says about me is going to be true. Like, what is this court thing? I'm really wondering, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm really wondering, because why would you be saying you're leaving the app? It's, it's a bit familiar, isn't it? You know what I mean? For somebody who's got a court case coming up to say they're leaving and that, I'm confused about that. Less time there. Thank you, Mark Lewis. Choo choo! Bang, bang, bang. Thank you so much, Mark. So, why would you believe in it? Must be something serious. And a robber. No, no, a murderer. A murderer. And I'm going to be uploading the video. No, no, And a there's murderer. nothing she could do about it. I'm sorry. No, yeah, if you want to actually, you know, because I'm a little bit drunk, I meant murderer. A, no, you said it on live. You said a great piss deserved less time than a robber. I'm no, sorry. No, robber. Something that I hurt someone. If that's my family, yeah. Well, robbers can that's hurt someone. Because of money. Uh, right. Marcus Hems defends Evil Queen when Bradley keeps talking about it. Oh my god, again. How many times have we heard the same story it's, now? It's not wrong, and it's not wrong. While you're looking out for the ones you want, our one to one financial advisors are looking out for you. St. James's Place. Invite Hems <laughs> makes me laugh. A nervous obsession, isn't it? I have Bradley issues, mate. I... No, you do not. The man's still fucking sat there, obsessed yes. with EQ. I don't really like EQ. Like, she makes me feel sick. I know you are friends. I know you are friends. Obviously, Scousers get together. I don't know why he comes on peddling all this, because, like... The lad keeps texting me all the time, and you can ask Jack to verify this, because whenever I get a text or that, I've showed Jack, you know what I mean, type of thing. So, like, the lad won't stop messaging me, for instance, you know what I mean? Look, there's the messages off him. I haven't been replied to, look. Sending me pictures of tennis boys, and there are all his messages there. So, I don't know why he lies and goes, I don't care, this, that, neither. Hasn't stopped messaging me, honestly. I'm not making videos about her. Yeah, all the time. What videos were made about her? <laughs> no, he's blocked now. I just hadn't heard anything for ages. Like, obviously, I'm just doing my thing with Jack and stuff, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, I started getting all these messages. So he's blocked now, but I never had this number in the first place. It's a whole new number. So I never had this number. He's blocked already on his original number, but I started getting messages from a different number. And I woke up to all these messages. No, so he is blocked for the people going, no, it just block him, he's blocked. But he messaged me on a different number, a bombardment of messages. TikTok, I have got a few things. Let me see if any are appropriate to read out to show you, it's like the type of thing that I was receiving. He wrote, um, yeah, you might be with muscles, but are you with baby daddy? Where you down? And then he said, hashtag clout attract. I can't even say then he best be getting paid a decent wage. He's basically doing my job in advance. And he took a picture from me Twitter of Jack doing me, because there's a picture on Twitter. And he wrote, he's basically doing my job in my absence. That's what he wrote. And sent me a picture. Uh, and then he wrote, um, oh, loads of different shit. Thank you so much, Penny. Did you? Bang, bang, bang. So the messages that I've had, like, just honestly, it's obsession. Things to say about being a new boyfriend, but I ain't even spoke about that yet because I've been ill for like. I haven't even spoken about her beating her new boyfriend up. 
Who are you to speak on anything even if that was the case? But Jack fell down the stairs and cracked his head and hit his nose. That's why he had two black eyes. <laughs> it's very weird. Weird. I've never had a problem with you. Like, the thing is, just let me say this right, yeah? The thing that upsets me with you... It, the thing that upsets me with you is I right, yeah, no it's one like... Cares. No one cares. No one's asked. No one's, one's asked. When Chelsea used to sit there and tell opinion. me... Oh. And this is what he keeps doing as well. He did it with Georgia and told Georgia that I'd said... This is why Georgia had a big problem with me. You know, Georgia, the Leslie girl. Um, she had this problem with me for some reason. I was like, why is this girl keep, like, cussing me out off for what reason? And then when I was in a box one day... And he joined the box and started, and she started saying, you told him to block me, you didn't like us being friends. I haven't said a word, what you on about? And then he goes to Ems. She used to slag you off behind, you keep telling people that I'd slag them off to him behind the back when I wouldn't. I had an online beef with Ems. Me, and Ems pulls him up on that and says, me and Evil Queen have spoke, then not spoke, then spoke, then not spoke over the years. You know, so anything she said, she said online as well, you know what I mean? So Ems knows that when me and Ems have been beefing, I've said the same thing online, you know what I mean? But he's acting out to everybody that I'm slagging them behind the back and I'm saying bad things when I'm actually not, you know what I mean? It's just absolutely crazy. Oh, so Georgia, you know, started taking issue with me, saying that I'd said to block her and that you made Bradley do... No, I didn't. I, I give two shiny shouts about the Lesley. From the most You've got more part. chance of me saying it about a man when it comes to this one. <laughs> Martha, I don't need your opinion. Saying that Jack's What's just doing end? his job for now, you know what I mean? No, not at all. I love Jack far more than I've ever loved him. Where you and where we live got to do with it? What's the area of where I live have to do with it? And he goes to her, he, she said, you live in the worst area of Bootle. Bootle's one big bad area. I wouldn't single a single area out in Bootle. The whole place is a bad area. The whole thing itself, Bootle as a whole, does not have a posh part. It doesn't. You just, I don't know, it's just, that's what upsets me about it. Because, like, I used to stick up for you. Look at him. I actually did. He's such a manipulative deceiver, honestly. Like, claimed all kinds. I was domestic violence, that and the other. And now sitting there trying to say to Ems, oh, I'm just trying to help you, blah, 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 blah. No, I've not done anything to you, like, literally nothing. Is EQ really one of your true friends? Or is Look she just him. someone that you chum off because she does an FYP show? Just Ems like doesn't chum. need to chum off me. She's got 3.9 thousand views. I've got 2.3. Ems always has more views than me. So why would she need to chum to me? Me and Ems just have come to a mutual ground where we respect one another now, you know what I mean? Where we didn't before. When I was doing Evil Queen, I was saying me horrible things. A lot of creators thought it was personal and fell out with me and stuff, you know what I mean? But since I've been doing my FYP, people watch daily and, you know, you see that I'm not doing all these things that people are trying to lie about. <clears throat> so me and Ems get on now. Do my Alex as well. Do you know what I mean? I don't do an FYP show. I don't talk about it, yeah? And I don't talk about EQ either. <laughs> oh, this shit. I don't talk about EQ. Oh, well. Me Thank and EQ used to be. The only time I'm talking about EQ is. Yes, Em. Me and EQ used to be talking and not talking and talking and not talking. That was before FYP. Thank you, Michelle. That was way before FYP. Why come on alive all the time and just talk about me? Why join Angie's and Em's box and talk about me? You know, we haven't been together for 10 months. It's been 10 months. Everybody have been with Jack for four months. It's been 10 months. Who else has an ex-partner who constantly talks about them to dig them down? My show's never about him. This is the first clip I played in, I'd say, 10 months because of the situation, the box situation, you know what I mean? Like 10 whole months I've gone by. I've moved on. You know, I'm in love. Like, I'm getting a house together with my new partner. You know, it's just absolutely crazy. We've known me to way before you. I know me to way before you make that Yeah, enough. exactly. So there you go. I've been watching us way before you and all. Then you sit there and tell me about you do. And as for Prince Brad, 
Crazy doesn't even like me. Yeah, this is from a day ago. And he changed his opinion. They've got on ever since. Yeah, exactly. The same as Luke. You know, kind of got on with Luke. Luke didn't like me at first, but then we got on. No, I didn't really speak to him, but you know. Basically, he's a cloud chaser, so he's trying to obviously cloud chase, and he's desperate to get into Ems's kitchen. You know, we've heard it said how many times? Because like a few months ago, what Ems was talking about as well is that she received a message, like a a, a wave or something, an accidental wave or whatever, and she wrote back Team EQ. That was the message she replied back. So when she references that, she messaged back saying Team EQ. The lad is desperate to have any type of public platform on here. You know what I mean? It's just, like, absurd at this point. It's been 10 months, you know. What happens to this lovely life without me? And thank you, Eva B. And I'm young and I've got life to live. You haven't li moved on. You haven't moved on. Where's your new partner? You know what I mean? You're a young lad. Where's your new partner? You know, why haven't you been going out dating and stuff? Like, why are you still trying to contact me? Why are you still talking about me? I really don't understand it. You know, if I seen you were moved on with a new lad or whatever, you know, then I would, wouldn't be bothered. I'd be happy for you, you know what I mean? I'm glad you're getting on with your life and stuff. Like, literally, I am getting all the sex in the world, you know. I have my partner, like, around me all the time. I never even invited you to my home. You've never been to this flat, and we were together longer than me and Jack. You've never been to this flat. I've never involved you in my life in that way. We had a brief affair, that was it. And then it was over as soon as it started. So you need to move on, live this young life that you wanted to live and, you know, all this type of stuff that you said about coercive control and, you know, I'm a domestic violence and all that. Why would you still be messaging a domestic violencer saying that my new partner's only doing the job temporarily in place of you? I would never go near you in a million years, even if me and Jack failed tomorrow, you know, or any of those things, I would never go near you. Thank you, Leah. Thank you so much. Never, never in a million years. Still, it is what it is. What just people like? Guys just fit together clearly. That's no matter. Really. You will get blocked for stating the obvious. You know what I mean? Like, why hasn't life moved on? That's what I don't get. Why has life not moved on by now? Like, it's ten months in, so I don't get why <clears throat> life hasn't moved on. What? Where's this amazing life? If I don't need that, I can't get me a word in any ways. That was there for the flight. No, it's just I like, I'm, I'm, with me, like, I'm like really no, big I'm on not. respect. No, if not. someone shows respect, show it back. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm. I, I didn't even want to speak to you anyway, I wanted to speak to Pappy. Mate, I yeah? <laughs> yeah, so my message to you is please move on with your life. I'm not interested in you. I never will be. Even if me and Jack finish tomorrow, you know, then I would never come anywhere near you. Like, my life goes forward, not back. And, you know, I'm sorry that you're still, like, wrapped up in this whole memory of me. I know I'm a lot to, you know, <clears throat> get over, you know... And maybe you thought the grass was greener on the other side and now you're regretful in some way, judging by those text messages and stuff. But I don't love you and I don't like you. You have disrespected me umpteen times. You've made multiple lives about me. You've made multiple videos about me. You've tried to spread hate and venom wherever you go. Please just get on with your life now. Enough's enough. I don't mention you. So you've got nothing to be saying. Oh, well, I'm coming back at her because she's saying this about me or she's saying that. There's none of that. I'm just responding to your video. Please leave me alone. Join people's boxes and talk and, and engage with people and get on with them, you know what I mean? You don't need to mention my name all of the time. It's very sad. It's very desperate. I'll never look at you ever. It wouldn't matter what happens in my life. I would never go near you again you made my life hell when i was with you you made my living existence and every single day for the year that we were together hell why would i ever want to revisit that why would i for a bit of cock and get that anywhere if it wasn't with jack why would i want that for a little bit of penis i don't think so so let it be known you've got nothing to offer me in any way any way, shape or form, I've been there, I've done that, 
and I've worn you like a t-shirt. Mad Hatter, thank you so much as well for the other night. Uh, Mad Hatter was the only sensible one in the situation alongside Ems, and she was trying to, like, move the conversation along. And then she even said to Delusa Banji, I'm not wanting to hear it because it's never happened. I can read people's body language, you know, I can just tell. It's just all about clouds and not real. She'd never done any of those things. The story's got too many holes in, you know. There's none of this that's gone on. So thank you so much, Mad Hatter. Right, let's see. There's so much, and I've still got so much to show you tomorrow as well, so don't worry if I do go off shortly. Cinder speaking facts. Oh, I'm going to give me a minute, I'm just having a drink. Cinder speaking facts. What are you drinking? Year, and I went, here, keep the tip. When he went, you owe me 90p because it was £10 night there. <laughs> What are you drinking? Double vodka. What are you drinking to go to gym? Sort your fucking head out. You have to come and get me though, don't you? No, I'm not coming to get you You're any the only person that can sort my head out, aren't no, you? Not when you're, pissed. not when you're pissed, I'll see you when you're sober. You sort your fucking head out. I ain't seeing you when you're pissed. I like you need scissors. to fucking sort... Do you, do you not understand what's going on here? Pissing. Do you not understand that my court assassin does not want to be your friend? She wants to be you. She always has wanted to be you. She wants to come in your house and play happy families with AJ and his son. Can you not see this? Do you not want to be your friend? You think she, she, you're her friend? She's using you. She's going to get that kid taken off AJ if you don't sort your head out. Thanks. You know what she's doing, my daughter? She's clever. She's clever and you, you need to open your fucking eyes because everyone else can see it but you. Yep. So I think she's got that narcissistic behaviour, hasn't she? Narcissist. No, it's not. Like, she knows what she's doing. You're obviously fucking blind because you're getting pissed and you can't fucking see what's going on in front of your eyes. AJ can see it. The whole of TikTok can see it. She is trying to make you look bad so she looks good. So she can step in on your toes when you're pissed out of your head and be the fucking hero, perfect mum and wife to fucking AJ and his yeah. son. <laughs> But until you fucking sober yourself up and open your eyes, you're not going to fucking see it. From and look at this footage with Mad Hatter and AJ. Look at her body language towards AJ, if I can find her. Look at Court Assassin's body language towards AJ when they're speaking, Anna, because I've seen it live where they're both on the screen. Here we go. Not me and you are Look at the body language. <laughs> look! Cortez, not Cortez, Mad Hatter, look at the body language coming from her. She wants your man. Not me and you look. are best friends. Don't mean that I want you in my domain. I'm not your best friend, but we've got a title. Like, if I'm being honest with you, like, I'm not being rude or anything, but particularly. And like look at his smile as well. You need to be careful. Look at his smile too. When would he ever be <laughs> about here? Before you did this. You did this, Mad Hatter. Look at this. Look at their chemistry together. What's building? Because of you. Like, like I said to you, I know that you two being friends is all good and that, and it's all good Thank for you, stuff, Melanie. but do I want to be part of it? No. Hell no. I want to keep you away from my sanctity. So... I don't even do nothing to you, though. You, you, don't need, you two don't need to do anything to me to affect me. You two are just you. And somehow, by proxy, I get shit. So <laughs> fuck having you in my house. But you like to keep on with your damn foolishness. When does she ever laugh like this with anybody on the screen? When? Exactly. <laughs> Watch this. Piss off. Yes. Oh my god. He looked... For now, he's gonna act like that and do that. But you better watch out. Kill, go for me. <laughs> no. One minute. You know, if a girl was doing this to my fella, I'd be right on it and I'd go, she wants you. Wait. Why would you want that <laughs> around you? <laughs> there we go. Right, one minute, oh. let me just get Charlie for a second. No, piss off. Why? I want no part of you lost foolishness. FYP. I'm not foolish. 
It's not FYP, it's FYP bullshit. <laughs> Fuck off. It's off. Why be tight? Why is he being so tight? It feels like Mad Hatter's not in control, but Court Assassin is more in control. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, she has a drink, but she's not thinking on the same lines as Mad Hatter. She's thinking with a lot more consciousness. You know what I mean? And she knows what she's doing. If she can get in there, she already got in there with the kids, which is fine. That was a nice thing to do. But I want her in your house around AJ, around the kids, and you don't think that if you're acting out, for instance, Mad Hatter, and you're giving AJ the worst time ever, and she comes and scoops along one day, and she could be in your house, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just going to go and say hi to the boy or something, and she'd be sneaking into his bedroom, trying to kiss him and all that. You know, and men, you know what I mean? They can be uh, shady characters, especially if he's not happy at home. And from what I'm hearing from AJ, he's not very happy at the moment, and that is a surefire way to drive your man into the arms of another. That's just... And she's so willing. She's so willing. If you can't see this, you know, you've got me, you've got Cinders, you've got everybody telling you, you know, leave it at building a relationship for her and her son. That's fine. But you're doing too much and you're going to be suffering the consequences. He's tight. Fuck's sake. He's not having it. He's already been in a relationship once before. He's seen something in her once before to be with her. You know what I mean? He's seen something in her before. He's booked her. They've had a baby. You know, he's got aroused in her presence to give her a baby in the first place and you think that like that just couldn't happen again no never happen again you know what i mean it will she's making moves and if you can't see it then you're very silly yes very silly well thank you so much everyone for tonight uh canadian angie thank you so much lisa caroline david leah carrie Evil Stay, Alison, Melanie, Haley, Emma, Mark. Thank you to every single one of you. If you're not on my little leaderboard, I thank you all. Thank you for the double taps, 402,000. Thank you. If you're not following me, follow me. I'll be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And if you could do me a favour out of goodness, could you go and repost all my shop videos from today? There's 11 if you could like, comment, and uh, I'll check them out in a little bit. But I love you so. Thanks for being a huge support to me. Don't worry about the whoppers we'd had in today. Remember, they're not my audience. They're someone else's audience. So I'm always going to get a poor reception from someone else's audience. Love you too, Angie. Thank you, Racing Girl. You never show up, Racing Girl. That's why I always... Because I think you've gone, but it's just that you're not showing up. So thank you, Racing Girl, as ever. Um, and thank you for being a support to me. And don't worry about people coming in and saying, oh, you're this, that, and they're not my audience. I don't care what other people's audiences think. If I was in Miss Red's box, I'd be turned apart. If I was in anyone's box, I would be. But on my own live, you're the only people that matter. And I love you so very much. And thanks for always supporting me. And I will be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock for the FYP show, the honest FYP show, whoever we should offend. Good night. God bless everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like all my shop videos and repost them. That's a surefire way to show me that you're a fan. Love yous. Bye. The Observer. Providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.